Welcome, everyone, to the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. I am your host, the indie god, the Deathmatch King, Matt Cardona, a.k.a. the Michael Jordan of Wrestling Figure Collecting and the $1,000 Borowski. And I am your host, the most professional wrestler, TNA star, and the Scotty Pippen of Wrestling Figure Collecting, Brian Myers. What's up, everybody? I'm also here, producer of the show, Smart Mark Sterling Esquire, the most famous professional wrestling lawyer. The show is brought to you by our good friends, Ringside Collectibles. Use code MAJOR to save 10%. We got some big ringside gets big coming ringside up stuff later, this later in the show. One We're of gonna... my most anticipated gets from we Ringside. We got two I'm words so for everybody. I don't want to say it. Suck it. Well, Broski did it. <laughs> <laughs> What a way All to right. start. Uh, my internet is still the shits, so mm-hmm. I'm using my my cell phone and my thousand uh, dollar broski one cent internet. <laughs> I think this Florida Orlando area is just the shits for internet Probably. service. No good. But follow us on X, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Major WF Pod. Subscribe to this podcast wherever you get this podcast and leave a review, not just any review, but a major review. If we read your review on air, you will get a little prize. Mark, can you read that review for us? I sure can, pal. (laughs) Uh, Nailed it. I will get it right. Here we go. Proud to be a major mark. As soon as I heard the now entering the Titan Tron part at the beginning of the first episode, I knew this podcast was for me. Collecting wrestling figures was something I was passionate about as a kid. When I heard Matt Cardona and Brian Myers created a show dedicated to discussing the history and current trends of figures, it made it so easy to start following. As an adult collector and as a fan of their work on screen as professional wrestlers, it was something I fell right in with. I recommend this podcast and the supplemental material that the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast offers on Patreon. From FWF to the live shows to the great community that the Major Marks have all come together for, Smart Mark Sterling, Brian Myers, Matt Cardona make every week fun and exciting to listen to. The video version also allows you to see what figures and purchases they are talking about. Even better, you can sit in on it live through the ultimate tier on Patreon. There are many perks to being a fan of this show. I also recommend Major Bendies and Big Rubber Guys. The toy lines spawned from this podcast. Watching the journey from the beginning has been so awesome. Is that yeah. chat GTP? Is that a AI? Yeah. I read? That might that be the was best we ever had, pal. He, I want he a just toot my own horn, but toot, we need the plug. Toot. I absolutely <laughs> love it. We, we didn't even Small have to do a show. Much? Thanks, pal. You did the show for, for us. That was for Mike Small? Oh, sorry. Also, that guys, was for Mike Small, at Mike Small, yeah. Well, he's in the chat right now. He, he spoke up. We so appreciate you, yeah, Mike Small. Mike, Mike Small. was that a small AI? Dick. <laughs> did you write that from your heart? <laughs> he said it's from the heart. This, this is from the heart. All right, man. Okay. Appreciate and you. Mike Small, if you have a small dick, you can use Blue Chew. <laughs> To grow it, keep it hard. <laughs> that's the whole show. There it is. That's everything we had to talk about. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess that's it. See you next week, folks. <laughs> <What a time>. <laughs> All right. <sighs> also, the giveaway every single week, courtesy of Ringside Collectibles. Last week, the winner was Cactus Jack. You find the pin post on X. Retweet it to be eligible. Mark, who won? And don't say I didn't send it, because for the third week in a row, I've sent it. <laughs> uh, and, uh, I, I believe... Uh oh. I believe, guys. Here, bear with me here. Uh I think it's this first one. <laughs> yes. Okay. So then it's so then it's MSCR. You win. You win. At what MSCR one oh six. And this week, the prize, courtesy of Ringside Collectibles, is the Mankind from that Three Faces of Foley Mm, set. Awesome figure. Wow. Brand new, too. Not even something that's been there for a while. spanking new. Damn. All right, guys. Majormarks.com. Patreon.com slash Major WPod. Become a member of our family, our, our fan club, our community. Every week, we give away a prize to a new and old subscriber. And if Mark sends me your address... I'll send you a prize, but it's been a couple weeks with no uh, addresses sent to me. So, oh, really? Oh, yeah. I'll Whoa. send. I'll, I have them all. 
First time in the line, <clears throat> I don't think this is the name, but it's in the name slot, Endeavor. Endeavor. That's it. Just Is it Endeavor? In- Endeavor. The, that's my boss. The owners of WWE? <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's Endeavor. Endeavor. <laughs> Classic superstar winner, Justin Arenando. Uh, congrats, guys. Guys, so much going on. You get the Facebook group. You get the bonus pods. We're recording two bonus pods for the month of March. Uh, the February ones are done for March. We are doing a watch along of Brian and I at WrestleMania 35 taking on the revival for the tag team titles and also a little review ski and uh, a you know discussion about the Princess Bride, the movie, the figures, you know how we feel about the movie back then versus today. I haven't watched so it in so long and I watched yeah. it a ton when I was a kid so I'm excited but. about this one cuz I can watch it with my daughter. And that's that's my I, that's my plan. About that's my plan too, yeah. Yeah. I'm excited also, about it cuz well, sorry, I want to buy sorry. that Andre the Giant Princess Bride figure. You know, you, that need, you need a little so motivation. To really get boned up about the it. Real motivation. All right. I need a good Anigo Montoya. That's what I want. I mean, but last month we watched, we watched Elimination Chamber, and one of the best moments of the whole thing, the first Elimination Chamber, was seeing Matt in the front row doing the sucka to Booker sucka. T. Sucka! <laughs> it was so funny. And uh, this time. I'm going to be looking out for me in the front row while you guys win Mark. the tag team titles. Wow. Mark Maybe I'll do a sucker. I don't know. Is there – I mean, I have I think I've only watched it once, so I don't know if there's a shot of you and Vinny. No, because we, we were like, yeah, I don't think there is a shot. But there is the, the clear as day, you saying to Matt, why is Mark in the front row? Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. well, I got to watch – I think I, maybe I watched it back once. I don't even know if I did, to be honest. I can't. Full wait. disclosure: I did not like the match, so I didn't want to watch what? it. What? I loved Mac- it. Mackenzie asked to watch it like two years ago, so I definitely watched it with her. And then Matt, for sure, when we walked into the after party, Dawson was watching it on a phone, and we like watched like the second half with him. I love the finish, yeah, but I remember sure. like we. I don't want to spoil it. We'll talk about it on the uh, the episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be a good episode. Yeah. yeah. But also, guys, if you're in the hard foundation up, you get the cards. February is the brand new card. The January card, Danhausen, I got a, you know, we each get versions of it because it's our goddamn podcast. I sold the Danhausen autograph card, went for over 100 bucks today Shut on up. whatnot. Holy cow. Damn. Sicko. That mother so, effer is I'm a excited to see who bank that of money card is. Yeah. Uh, I almost spoiled the, the card on Silver Linings Day, and then I remembered we guys had enough with it, the so. goddamn spoilers in this company. <laughs> I forgot. Yes. Uh, yeah, Brian. No more spoilers. Uh, Boozer with the toys. <laughs> yeah, it's a real problem I have. <laughs> Boozer with the toys. The last <sighs> Thursday uh, of the month, we got Boozer with the toys. So stick around to the end of the month for that. All the bonus shows we got: Figure Dissecting with D Freedom, Let Them Breathe with myself, Silver Linings with Mark. Captain's Log with Joe's Shoes and Heath's Happy Hour. Do you Recorded guys, today. Uh, know what you're doing for Heath yet? Guess, guess we, what? Guess what? What? More tears. Yeah, yeah. We more, got him to tears. cry this week. <laughs> more this tears month. coming your way. And it wasn't about his family or his daughters. And that's for February or for, for March? Uh, it'll be out. The February, it's probably it's out February. already if you're it's listening. It's the February one, yeah. Yeah, it's the February one. It's a good one. We, <sighs> we talk about the... Um, I kind of wanted to talk about him getting into wrestling like more in depth. We never really went into like when he started training, why he wanted to become a wrestler and things like that. So you know talk what? some backyard I'm, wrestling. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you your March one. It's a layup. What's that? Just do an incarnation of all his figures. That's a good one. A good but one. We, because he's we, got the major bend. He's brand new. Hot off yeah. The all right. Well, yeah. we, we, we owe a part two in this because we really only got up to his training. Oh, so let it. Let it simmer, dog. Let it simmer, bro. Yeah. All right. All right. Anything else for uh, majormarks.com? I think we got it. We're nailing that. We're All nailing right. It. Some follow ups this week. I was in uh, Cocoa Beach for Atomic. Yeah. I uh, saw that wrestling. photo. I didn't know you were on a Legends show. Bro, first <laughs> that, of all, that I took this booking. Insane. I've worked for Atomic before. I love working for Atomic because uh. they're based. In the Orlando area, it's your, really it's your close home, to my home house. Fed. It's your home fed. I'm thinking, whatever, quick half hour drive. I'll even if I'm main event, I'll be home early. Boy, was I wrong. Okay, <sighs> wrestled Shannon Moore in the main event. 
Bro, the bell rang after midnight. No. <laughs> the oh, the bell baby. rang. Did you ask for two payments? You were there oh for two days. The, and I'm I talking about did. the opening bell. Rang <laughs> after midnight. Wow. First of all, Shannon Moore can still go. Boy, can man. he go. I wrestled shoot, him at Atomic. Yeah. Almost shoot, trip me on a drop down. <laughs> that's how, that's how well, quick, I'm, explosive he is. I'm going to say that's on you and your knees, but I wasn't there. No, he was trying to shoot, trip me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but we had an excellent match. Um, you know, Atomic is great. Love working there. And the next day, I broke my rule and I went to Canada and I wrestled for Destiny Wrestling. And uh, boy, did Destiny Wrestling impress me. Hell of a house, hell of a setup. You know, I don't want to toot my own horn, but the uh, the greatest, highest attendance in Destiny Wrestling history. Wow. That was on the main event. So, so many major marks there, so many Canadian major marks. It was really a good time. <laughs> Was it at Battle Arts or no? It was not at Battle Arts. It was in like Ooh. a real, like, I don't know, a real indie arena, I guess. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Cool. So really, really cool. I was supposed to film a vlog with SDL and go to Toys R Us, but she was not allowed into the country because of a visa issue. So <laughs> damn. luckily she didn't get on the flight. They wouldn't even let her check in at the Orlando airport. Wow. So, I went to Toys R Us by myself and she's, I started she's vlogging. She's a goddamn vigilante, huh? Yeah, I started vlogging at this Toys R Us. The Toys R Us selection was so bad, I didn't want it to be a negative vlog. I just stopped. <laughs> and uh, I sent the footage to Mark. It'll be in the bonus Patreon oh vlog. It was just God. so bad. It's like, what am I? Sh I can't have this be a negative vlog. <laughs> it was the shits. I mean, the fucking I, shits. The only, I mean, I've been to a couple now that I've frequented Canada quite often with TNA, but there's like. It's not the same. It feels the same. Like the setup and the look is the same, but just, yeah, the selections. Like if I was not, with SDL, maybe I could have played off somebody, but it was just me filming right. this shitty yeah, selection. That's, that's really tough. Yeah. I just so, quit. I mean, what do you mean by CD selection? It's just like, let me guess. They, all they had was like Anna J. AEW the figures. The only WWE elite figures they had was Colonel Mustafa and Kushida, Whoa. and the rest was all old ass AEW stuff. Yeah. Like Holy the crap. like the Luchasaurus buddy Riho, like <laughs> garbage oh old shit. Do they have the the cardboard entranceway? I feel like the that's cardboard the entranceway. Yeah, was yeah. it was Damn. depressing to be honest. I yeah. didn't want that documented. Gotcha. <laughs> Got it. Well, you'll see some of it. Maybe Matt gets mad. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, not our Matt. You guys, no way. you guys working all? Yeah, baby. Uh, TNA Wrestling, New Orleans at the pay per view Friday night. Me and Eddie Edwards smashed Kushida, speak of the devil, and Kevin Knight in an awesome match to kick off the show. Then we had our tapings. Um, they're going to air that over the next couple of weeks. Pretty awesome. The system is uh, cooking, baby. We're really cooking. Um, it's been just an awesome experience. TNA is alive and well, man. I, I, I feel like some people are concerned about backstage stuff as far as you know the fan perception is, and I can tell you firsthand. It was an incredible weekend and everything's a okay, dude. It was awesome. So don't be worrying about TNA. Just watch it. I think the system Wait. is one of my favorite stables going in wrestling today. A little uh, wink and a nod to one of my favorite of all time, the triple threat. You know, we got our three guys and we got the chick yeah. and uh, it's, it's just getting started. It's been freaking awesome, man. Just so you know, uh, <clears throat> since I am your lawyer, I consider myself the system's lawyer as well. So. Oh, cool. I'm quasi He's, in the I'm group. sure we'll be getting into trouble. So. <clears throat> uh, Broski, yeah. you sent me on a mission. You sent me on a mission this weekend to be on wrestling, to deliver a message to your opponent on March 8th for Shamrock Slam. Beyond wrestling. Oh, is the guy who screams before his matches? Yes. The, have you the seen guy it, bro? who skips have, leg day? <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you seen the scream? I've seen it multiple times. Oh, okay. I've I'm never sure seen him doing legs it. in a gym. I haven't seen no. him in him at all. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me show you what I you, uh, I delivered a message. I, here's the, here's the message. The way I do want to talk about March eighth, <laughs> arguably the biggest independent professional wrestling show in the history of Boston. Yeah, he needs to do Alex squats. Price versus my client Matt Cardona. <laughs> now to you. You think of this as your big moment, your chance to win the big one. Damn right! That's right! Yeah. 
Matt, he looks at it as another payday. That's right. A pretty right. good one, too, I hear. It's, it's a great, great payday. payday. Now you look at him as the WrestleMania star and the indie god. And unfortunately, he just looks at you as a skinny indie bitch. That's right. That's true. That was Damn, the message, Mark. right? I, Damn, did, I delivered that I good. I mean, Mark, we didn't even fucking talk, but you fucking <sighs> knew exactly what was on my mind. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We don't even need to speak. We're, we're That's fucking chemistry right there. It's exactly. So guy. listen, this is uh, honestly, though, March 8th, uh, Harpoon Brewery in Boston, in Boston, huge place. This might be one of the biggest independent shows, uh, independent shows in the history of Boston. It's it's one of the biggest things Beyond's ever done. Matt Cardona versus Alec Price. Um, I will be in Matt's corner, and uh, I'm very excited for this. Very man. Excited. If I went to Calhoun the night of that show and took a big shit, it would weigh more than Alex Price. <laughs> And that's no exaggeration. <laughs> I, I, I did not know where that was going, but wow. <laughs> I Am I like, wrong? Yeah, that we, we should go to Calhoun. That'd be great. We should. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, celebrate with some major Mai Tais after I squash. After I squash Alex Price. Yeah, he thinks this is a big moment. This is, this is not a big no, moment. No, it's a big moment for him. Like you said, it's just another payday for me. It's just 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 some money to spend on some Mai Tais. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. And Andy gives the... me free Mai Tais. What am I saying? <laughs> just yeah, extra true. money to my figures. True. Well, wow. we're looking forward to it. Wow. All right. Guys, I must bring this up. The last match musical finally on the road. Uh, to answer a lot of your questions, no, I will you not got, be. You got fired, Pom Pom? No, I Who actually, did they uh, get I'm to replace busy. you? The last like, the match the musical would like to wish Matt Cardona the best in his it's future actually, endeavors. <laughs> it's actually the opposite. The indie god is just too busy to take time off my busy schedule, but I'm still oh. a producer. I'm still a consultant. I still have a hand in all this. Who's but please taking your check role, out the though? tour. And you never know it's, it's when I Bull, might Bull, you know, Bull pop James. in. Bull is James. Is it Bull James? Did Bull James take your role? Yep. Yeah, I don't think so, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Bull James. Bull James trying Bull to James try out Bull James my fucking sing. entrance gear. <laughs> Bull, Bull, Bull James can sing better than Broski, so he got replaced. No. That's what in, I heard. in all honesty, Broski, Joe Hersky says they didn't want to pat the lobe. In all honesty... I, I know that because I remember you kind of like talking about it. Y you had to make the decision to, to do it yeah. or not because basically you, you could have done this. You could have toured with this company, but you would have missed out on a lot of wrestling dates. Was that a hard decision for you? It was a very hard decision, but it was a decision ultimately that was very easy because in life, in wrestling, especially in indie wrestling, it's very, very hard to get momentum. And once you got it, you cannot let it go. Mm. And Man, right now I'm, I have it, and I cannot just take off months to do this. While this would be very, very cool and enjoyable, this is something that maybe like if I wasn't successful, you know, I could go do. Or maybe in like 10 years when I'm done wrestling, I could go do. Yeah. <clears throat> but I cannot yeah. give this. I, everything I do, I do all in, right? Yeah. And I couldn't be half pregnant, so to speak, and do some wrestling and then like try to do this. It, it would have been just too much. So I'm, uh, um, I'm looking at this. This is a legit tour. Like you wouldn't. This nuts. Be able, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's to, no. You wouldn't is, be able to go home. Day. Yeah, it's like, like a real. Yeah, there would be no way to wrestle. Like rock and roll know? style. Like that's a that's a month straight on the road. Right. So yeah. Even if they then listen, they were saying that they would let me get off for certain wrestling shows, but then even so, it'd be even a crazier schedule for me personally. <clears throat> So this I really made the cool. uh, decision. I w I'm not able to do it at this time, but like I said, I'm still on board, still a, uh, a producer, still a consultant. So I'm very excited. It's a great show. If any, you know, a lot of major marks saw it. Brian saw it. It's an excellent show. Whoever taking my spot, listen, he's not going to be as good as me. Let's be honest, but <laughs> give him a chance. <laughs> give him a chance. <laughs> give him a chance. <laughs> wow. I heard it's homicide. Is that true? <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Um <sighs> Last week, Monday Night Raw, Anaheim, California, home of Disneyland, Chelsea Green wore some Mickey Mouse ears, a major mark, made them for her, and the only gear that she had that matched it was her old basic I was uh, NXT you, gear. I was going to ask you this. I saw the picture on her Instagram, and I was like, I think that's the toy. 
Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the So, uh, you know, it's Wait, the ma- only match gear. It's figure fate. Too. Shit. It's figure that's fate. Cool. The only gear wow. that matched the, uh, the, the Mickey Mouse ears. So she wore them on Monday Night Raw. And then we had a hell of a time doing Disneyland the, the next two days. Um, I tried to ask Chelsea if you want to do a major land, try to bang out one of these bonus episodes. She said, uh uh-uh. uh. Damn. Damn. Stiff. Did not want to do a major land with me. Well, no major land reunion? No well, major land reunion. Hey, if the I only picture her, I saw was her being very upset in the rain. So Well, hey, the first day it rained a lot, but I will say this it was one of the best Disneyland experiences I ever had in the rain because it was like dead. I don't, I yeah. don't think I've ever been to California and saw it rain. <laughs> It's, in, it's pretty wild, dude. In like 18 years of going there traveling, I don't think, I literally don't think I've ever seen rain there. But we had a great time. All right. Uh, last week, we talked about the Andre Big Shots. There was a little teaser, but now they finally revealed it will be 32 inches. That's cool. Which means That's cool. it is bigger than the other uh, Big Shots. I feel like so it's very regret, smart because you need other macho. ones. You need other ones to show that it's bigger because we just have Andre. Yeah. No one's going to know. It's yes. a great, mar- great marketing ploy. The, uh, so, look, again, uh, we, we put these over. These are great, man. If if you have one of those cool like sort of man caves or whatever rooms, like this, using these as throw pillows on your couch is like uh, just a cool look. And let's just say there might be a DMK coming soon. That's all really? I'm gonna right That's all wow. I'm going to say. Wow. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you right. just literally just said it. <laughs> I said mine. <laughs> okay. Oh said my mine. god. All right. This is this one blew my mind. Okay. We've talked about this many times. We even have a history of episode. Oh no, we don't. I don't think we never did the history of 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 Superstar Series Nine. Right. We only did we only did ninety six ninety seven. So we didn't talk. Yeah, about we we pivoted, well, we did yes. we did an audio version of it. Okay. And I Patreon. think we've talked about this a couple of times on the show, the Superstar Series Nine Big Show. Okay, so there was a tweet. Uh, Andrew Dice Clay, he posted, Jack's shipping this so fast that it was still called Paul White and it was in the clothes he wore the first day he walked into Titan Tower to sign his contract showed you just how much they thought of him before they debuted. And then I wrote something like, well, I think... Um, oh, here it is. Rumor has it, WWE Jax took pics of the big show at Toy Fair in January while he was still with WCW. He debuts in February, figures out in the summer record time. But then Vintage Jax BCA said, WWF.com printed the story about his visit. As far as I know, he was not under contract to WCW at the time of the that went down. Also, Toy Fair took place during that week. He was making the rounds, not in January. And then also, he posted that those photos of him at still photo in that gear, the reference shot, which is also the figure and the photo on the card, were taken at the pay per view. So I was, you know, like wrong the whole time. Like I was told a lie and believed it for so many years. Uh, the Toy Fair part. Oh. <laughs> That's only My off entire by, job was a lie. I mean, it's really only off by two weeks, right? Is that what you're trying yeah, to say? Yeah, but still, I. Where, didn't you hear the story, Brian, for years that they were taking? I, heard, it I believe there? I heard it from you, so I don't know. I don't know I, where. I didn't just yeah. make it up. I must have heard it somewhere. I think yeah. that didn't. Isn't there a Toy Fair picture of him in that outfit? So you assumed. I thought I always also, guys, that it was an assumption. Let's, let's address this. This isn't a groundbreaking outfit. It's a black shirt and black pair of jeans. Like it's not like <laughs> that looks like what he wears. It's not like oh, jeans. he couldn't have wore it multiple. You know what I mean? It's not He's like, a giant. He probably doesn't have a lot of clothes that fit him mm-hmm. great. That's like his best button up shirt, his best slacks, yeah. and he wore it to Toy Fair, and then two weeks later he wore it to his meeting. Someone's got to track down the toy fair. I also would like to think that he dressed a little nicer f- to meet everyone at Titan Tower for the first time. No, this is like 99. That looks nice. No, 98? Was it 98, 99? That's, that's dressed up. I think that looks nice for a giant. I mean, but he's still got to own a suit or something. Tie. I think that era people are coming in. Isn't like draws and like Zubas when he does the puke? <laughs> Where he's meeting Vince? Shit, you, you might be right about that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. I don't know. But yeah, if we can get down to the bottom of it, where <laughs> were there pictures at Toy Fair? Was he at Toy Fair? Do we have say, pictures? Was he in that outfit? We I would say just, just fucking text Big Show, but he'll just be like, what, what's wrong with you? He'll have no answers for us or anything. Just All that would do would, would expose yourself. This text from Matt out of nowhere. Were you wearing a black button <laughs> You just, shirt just be a complete that. psychopath, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he has no idea. Uh, more pa- more uh, updates. Power Town update. Those figures. 
that we that we saved. We saved the whole company. The figures with the broken legs will now be sold. Yep. There will be a sticker that will let you know that they are the original run. Uncirculated I, is the word they're using, which is correct. I think that's fine. We were well, saying this all along. Why not let, sell them on my card give them a little label or something? Yeah, a year and a half ago, I said, guys, don't let these go to waste. You know, there's plenty of mint and box collectors that would love to own these. Not to mention, if you're not playing with these actively, you can open them and display them. You just can't really... You can't, you know, right. throw a drop. You can't throw a drop kick with Vern, which I don't think anyone's doing. So who cares? You know, Stan is alive. He's making the rounds. You can get him to sign that. Like, there's a lot of potential here for you know collectability. Now, this image is kind of like a mock-up. I wonder where the sticker actually is. You know, um, like is it on the back? Is it on the front? Is it on the window? It makes a I big difference. Hope, I would think the window, but I don't have that information for for certain. Yeah. So. If you if you missed out on Power Town, this is a way to uh, definitely get them. Uh, also, and actually, video- by the way, uh, more information on that. They're about, I think they're ten dollars less than the value they were for the regular line. So they want it's just incentive for people to buy them. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And there was finally two K video game footage of Cody, uh, the Bruise Ringside exclusive. Yeah, it looked awesome. Someone is that really cool. That figure's like already going for crazy money on the secondary market, by the way. Yeah, but Ringside got him back in, so that's over. Oh, I was like, well, how did that happen? Okay, got it. Yeah, it was. It was going for over a hundred bucks. Wow, that's, that's awesome. But Ringside, I guess, is able to reorder. So sweet. Sorry about your damn luck if you bought it on eBay. <laughs> well, Broski, that just means that just means you don't have patience or whatever. I don't know. <clears throat> did you guys see the footage of the Cody? Oh wait, the, ring, the Ringside sold game? out already. Someone said. Oh, already, damn. Sold out in about an hour, James Zimbecki said. <laughs> damn. Chelsea very <laughs> upset Uh-oh. that they didn't like re like so her her finish is the unpretty her. And it's yep. like basically the unprettier, but it's a little different. It's like the version like I do where you hook it and you give it a big jump. She jumps yep. like way higher than you do, but anyway. Anyway. <laughs> The version that's in the game is just like a normal Christian unprettier. She's a little, oh. she's a little mad they didn't like oh, refill man, the mocap. That means somebody would have had to have done that. Yeah. Hey, what's her rating? Not sure. Not quite sure. I I hear there's a lot of controversy this year. They tried to like redo the rank, the ratings, kind of like make it a little different. So it's yeah. like a wider scale of ratings. I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with a the upset. Uh, don't know what her rating is. Yes. Not quite sure. All right. Well, up next is the news, and the news brought to you by Paps Blue Ribbon. The Major Pod Network has partnered with our favorite adult beverage, Paps Blue Ribbon. Everybody needs some liquid courage to make their own weekly purchases, scratch that figure itch, and scratch that PBR itch. If you're listening to this, you're already a major mark. Now it's time to become a major PBR mark. Use hashtag major PBR and post your pictures and videos of you major marking out with some Paps. Paps Blue Ribbon and the Major Pod Network, the tag team champions of the world. Of the world. Major PBR forever. All right. Welcome to the news. Use the hashtag Major PBR. Drink a PBR. Oh, my God. In Disneyland, I did a lot of drinking, but they didn't have any PBR. That's what Disneyland's missing. What? I was in New Orleans all weekend, and you can get anything your heart can can desire alcohol-wise. But the system, we stopped off at the gas station. We got some ice cold PBRs to celebrate a couple victories. It was wonderful. That's a true story. (laughs) That's a true story, by the way. What? Did you go out on Bourbon Street? No, nah, the first night I got in, we did hit the Pelicans game, though, actually, a couple of us. Oh, that's so, cool. Yeah, it was really sweet. Well, use the hashtag MajorPBR. If we choose your picture or video, you will <laughs> get a prize. Who wins, Mark? I should have known that I was going to this. <laughs> Here we go. After a couple of major PBR cans, there is no telling what will happen. This is Evan being Evan at Punk Runner Evan, and it is a picture of the superstar's cane pushing the bloody Mad Cardona <laughs> figure uh, off of a table in a wheelchair. And All the right. other picture is John Cena, uh, He-Man John Cena, like waiting for him or watching along. It's pretty pretty great picture. 
Check that it all out. Ha- that all happened. So that's it all awesome. happened, yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, a little update here. Marky, Kayfabe, and Caden Narlock confirmed that Chelsea is a 75 rating in the game. Not great. That's not good. Well, like, all right, uh, guys. We got, Roman's we got like a 98. News here. Oh, gotcha. We got some major Bendy's breaking news here. Mary Kate says that I uh, spoiled this a couple weeks ago. I'll let him breathe. So, Mary Kate, you're off the hook. Thanks, man. Stooging it off. But <sighs> Brian, I mean, this is your set, so sure. I'll let you. I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you do the uh, the reveals here. All right, Major Bendy's Extreme Wave Two going to be on presale very soon. Next week, we, next Friday. We have my kayfabe girlfriend, the Queen of Extreme, Francine. In Bendy form, as well as Jerry Effin Lynn, as well as the man that is responsible for training, Matt and myself, in the wrestling business, Mikey Whipwreck. Mm. And on top of that, we have, why am I forgetting another one? Jerry oh, Lynn? No, I said Jerry Lynn. How about my tag team partner, the franchise Shane Douglas, and... This next one's La- my get. Give me some credit. Last but not least, this is a broski get, courtesy of the Dusty Rhodes Foundation. It's the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, in his ECW jeans and T-shirt attire. All of these figures have bloody variants, except Francine. Do we have the pictures. Oh, where are actually, the pictures at? France. Yeah, I thought he was going to throw some pictures here. Yeah, where are the pictures at? Well, I'll get them up. Hold on. Oh, you keep okay. talking. <laughs> the default sleep. Uh, what was I saying? You just threw me off there. Yeah, there's bloody versions, non bloody versions. So Next. yeah, and the, and two of them at least. Well, Dusty actually, shit, three of them are like full blown from moments because like Dusty's from his match with Steve Carino, the famous bull rope match. Francine, I literally was messaging with her and said, "Did you ever get color?" And she said one time, and she sent me the clip on YouTube. So we made it off of that one time in the ECW arena. That's cool. And then uh, the one I'm most excited about is Jerry Lynn, um, and he'll have the die written across his uh, chest from his famous match with Steve Carino as well from uh, Heat Wave 2000. So, so if you're watching the video version, these are the, obviously the not, not Go uh, back to, not to, to the non-bloodies so we can discuss some things. First of all, the liquid blue, we want to thank them. That's the official T-shirt of Mikey Whipwright. This is not like, you know, we didn't spoof it. It's officially the liquid blue T-shirt. Jerry Lynn in his pose, which you know Brian won a big time. I I did it. Yeah, but guys, it please looks cool. do me a favor. Message Matt. Make a post in the Patreon. Let him know how stupid he was to fight me on Jerry Lynn doing the Jerry Lynn rock and roll pose. It looks good, but I don't want to get I don't want to get into that route where we're doing poses. These aren't micro brawlers. When they're warranted, though, they're warranted, and I felt like the that Jerry was really looks warranted. great. Mikey looks awesome. Dusty Rhodes in that gear. Francine, Shane Douglas, long hair Shane Douglas. And when you go to the bloody, I want you to take note of the Jerry Lynn and the Francine. They're in different gear. So it's double incentive to get it. Jerry Lynn is in the the black gear with the dye on his stomach. And Francine's in that gold dress. So really, really cool cool figures. And believe it or not, Shane... Has never had a long haired figure, which is criminal to me, but that would be the first. Because everyone, I mean, I think everyone who's embarked for Shane, I think you think long haired ECW champion Shane Douglas is like the guy, you know? So these are going to be, you know, obviously designed by TTD, but Brian Beatty doing the uh, the 3D <clears throat> design. So I think these might be the best major bendies we've ever done, certainly the most toyetic. With the uh, with the blood, I can't wait for Mikey Whipwreck. I, I mean, I can't wait for Do- they're all incredible. So please get them next week. A little pre order. Remember, the pre order is the order over on MajorBendies.com. All right, great. That's awesome. Uh, no, I'm crazy excited about that whole set. Yes. If you're listening Friday, Kyle Peterson's. Classic Superstars book is available. This is so cool. So cool. Uh, did you write the forward, Matt? Did no, you, did like you never forward by Jerry Padauer. Right? Is Padauer the Padauer. forward writer? Yeah, read the cover, guys. He's, he's I, the godfather. Well, he deserves to. I can't see. That's 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 an incredible, incredible book. 
I can't wait to get it. I know the hard cover is coming eventually, but uh, I'll get the soft cover. You know, that'll take some blue chew, get hard. You know, Bar- yeah. it's going to be at Barnes and Nobles. That's crazy. Pretty damn cool, man. Yeah, good for Kyle. That's great. I'm, I, I mean, <laughs> I'm like scared to get this or flip through it because I. That's one thing I don't have in my collection, and I, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I want to go down that. I that love hole. it. Twenty You're years of the class. Twenty years since the class of superstars debuted. It's yes. probably going to turn Time. you off from it, Brian, because there's so much annoying things in the in the line. There's so there's much a lot shit of stuff. Bro, you, yeah. and Broski has almost every single damn thing. I feel I mean, like if the, you if you got the best of it, you'd have a really nice collection. But like, there's just some real annoying. The first set is fucking garbage. Andre, R3, Big Show Body. It, it literally starts off shitty and then ends shitty, but the middle is some Undertaker, epic stuff. Undertaker, Titantron Body, Purple yeah. Gloves, Gray Boot Covers. <clears throat> it's bad. But one of my favorite lines in history. Also, those WWF Bendems have been renamed Flex Figs? Hmm. So I don't know as, if it's like Oh, I didn't even notice that. I don't know if they're being renamed or if it's just like an alternate name. That, I'm not quite was, sure what's going on. That was a great call because the name was the only thing wrong with those for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Man, do you think do you think that uh that company, the major bendies, went after him? <laughs> no. That's no. hundred percent not true, but man. <laughs> Well, I wonder if these new ones, if they can come off the fucking stand. This is oof. Or not have like the most bizarre skin tones that no human has on earth. I don't know. So That'd be a start. That what? is interesting. All right. What about this bloody vampiro that kind of popped up? Yo, I, I mean, I did what everyone did. I went, oh, that's just a really cool custom that somebody glued back to the card. But we have confirmation. That's a bloody chase. Which I uh, I would want in my collections. So I'm going to be on the hunt for that. And apparently, I'm going to pass not, on that. But it's very very cool. Not supposed to be out until I believe San Diego Comic Con, and some leak through the cracks, and that's how mm. this became information. Is what I was told. Damn, cool. I wonder if it's like accurate. Like, he, did he ever get bloody in that gear? You know, or if it's like fantasy blood, like our most of our extreme fantasies. You know, and we'll have a uh, Roy Lucier update on that. I'm sure next week. Very cool. More stuff from Foco. Miss Elizabeth looks really cool. Very unique ah. outfit. I don't know. That kind of looks like Carrie Von Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, Carrie Von Eric's a very attractive man, but. The first lady of wrestling. Also, this John Cena. Big heads. <laughs> very yeah. cool. Hmm. Is it like a new, supposed to be like New York Knicks? Mm, is that Mania? Uh, oh boy! We're under attack. <laughs> I was gonna say Mania Twenty, but here we this go. This is this is 2012 Cena. This is when he did the uh, the promo on Rock in Cleveland. Oh, is that a cat? That's a cat. That's a cat jersey. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So he's, okay. he's got the uh, he's got the uh, rise above hate like uh, armbands on and stuff. But okay. uh, don't know why he. I don't know if he had two uh, armbands. He's got the wristbands on, but I, I think he only wore uh, the he armband never, on the... There's no, He's got doubles. I would say almost impossible because he never did that. Unless yeah. he was doing it because Rock would made fun of his merch and he was trying to be more obnoxious for that one thing. But you have to see. Yeah. All right. Uh, Hastel Toy showed off a painted British bulldog. Looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, it looks great. It looks nice. Yeah, he's been getting customizers to paint the figures. Wait, which I wait, guess. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what? This is not not news. This is like Mackenzie brought home a project from school, guys. Let's show it off next. <laughs> what are we doing here? But this is what he does to show off the pro. Like this is how he gets. You know, a instead customizer of like a customizer like- <laughs> painted his toy. <laughs> That's not anything. I mean, technically, isn't a hand-painted prototype a customizer? What's the difference? It literally says Chris's Customs. What do we... Yeah, Chris Customs painted it, you know, and then he shows that to the factory. Do you understand? I'm, I'm, I'm tapping on this. This is not... This is... <laughs> well, don't tap yet, because the Bob <laughs> Cardona <laughs> in stock. 
<sighs> Limited edition. All these major marks have been getting them faster than Amazon. I did not get one, okay? And then he sent it to me because I asked nicely, can I please have this to, in hand before the pod so I can record? Yesterday, he sent me a picture that he had sent it. He didn't even send it fucking priority, that cheap fuck. Um, <laughs> Come on, Mitch. Again. It does look great. It's I think happened. it looks awesome. Uh, you can do the double buys. I uh, I have the prototype of my collection. In that FWF gear. Look at that studio <laughs> shot. FWF gear. Does, does Bob have one? That's what's most important. Bob should have 100 coming his way, but he doesn't have them yet. <laughs> oh, geez. So, awesome figure. Great job by Mitch. Thank you so Maybe, much. You know what? We ready? Not tan enough. Look at that photo. Not tan enough. I will no. say, not tan enough. Right. Damn. There's a lot of flaws, but we're not going to get into them. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no flaws. This figure is perfect. No flaws. Chef's this figure is perfect. Wow. <laughs> He's got the Cardillo weight belt on him. It's incredible. Yeah, it's a, so, incredible. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Pick it up. Hastel Toys. Or is it Hastel Toy? Which one is it? Hastel Toy or Hastel Toys? Hasteltoy.com. Incredible figure. Eventually, I'll be selling signed versions on whatnot. So... You know, that's coming very, very soon. All right. We got Sting Week coming up. <clears throat> the farewell to the Stinger. There will be a Crow Sting Micro Brawler. Looks really cool. Also, uh, new Micro Brawler cases that have the Micro Brawler name on it, which I, which I dig. And if you go back to that Sting Week, we see that there's going to be a, uh, a Brawler Buddy. And a limited edition AEW figure. Brian and I tried to get the scoop try to get from the Goss. Brian. He doesn't even know what it's going to look like yet. He doesn't have them. Which is, which is kind of wild information, but yeah. So, and that's Steve, Sting do you have week. any idea what it's going to look like? Sting week, February. Could be, could be flashback. Could be a, a redeco in the long sleeve, just with a different long sleeve and different face paint. We'll find out on March 3rd. So. We'll see. Well, and March 4th. Um, Sting Week culminates with uh, Mark and Sting's last meal together in catering. Mm. So <laughs> it's going to be really special. Steve, I saved you a seat. Steve, Steve over, over here, pal. Right, right oh over here. God. Right uh, over here. By, by Beefcake and me. <laughs> yeah. First of all, can we talk about Beefcake's bump? <laughs> oh, beefcake my God. Broke, broke the internet with that. Jesus. Like, I've watched it so many times from so many different accounts, and I absolutely love it. It's beyond ridiculous. I think, like, in his mind, he thought he'd be able to pop up from the famous a little quicker. That and then he just committed. That got sent to me in, like, seven different group chats. I <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's, uh, it certainly uh, created uh, some controversy this week. I probably I shouldn't say this, but the producer of that match text me in one of the group chats and went oh my god that was my match i must have been like looking down at so because i did, he didn't even see it when it happened live <laughs> by the way uh, uh I, I i don't know i lost my train of thought sorry oh, thanks for <laughs> oh, that means mark was about to say mark, something mark was about to say something got eat. shook <laughs> yeah AKA uh, mark uh, got uh, never mind guys i love aw next segment okay <laughs> Oh, that couldn't have been more obvious, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie Sailor. Showing well, up yet. with Brian not Pillman. Not What's that? We got wait wait, wait uh, one last thing. One last thing. So so this is uh the next thing before the zombie. Before before we start with the good figure, we're gonna talk oh, wait, about Wait, I remember what I was gonna say. I I'm sorry. We were talking about we said beefcake. Beefcake is what we call him. His name is his bear boulder. Okay, oh, so we're yeah, talking about a people, Boulder. A lot of people probably didn't know what we were talking about that second. Every Sorry. time in AEW, good, and I said spot. this at the live show, I will reference Beefcake, and people will literally think I'm talking about Brutus the Barber. <laughs> <laughs> like I went to the gym this morning with Beefcake, and they're just like, what? He's here? <laughs> but that's what we're yeah, talking that's about, tough. I've never called him Bear Boulder. Or that, like, yeah, that's no, me neither. He's beef. A tough transition, yeah. yeah. Is his name still Bear Boulder? Yes. Even and though he's, he's been, in the he, Iron Savages? I think they're kind. Of, I think kind of technically the the graphic will say Bronson and Boulder. I guess got it, got it. Yeah. So, uh, All right, so do you have a figure you want to show us that I said was so bad doesn't even deserve to be here? 
Yeah, six years in the making. But technically, you compare this. I'm. You, you compare this with your uh, your AEW collection, a missing piece, I guess. Uh, if you want to uh, take gambles, I mean. <laughs> Whoa, I mean, I if that didn't say it on the packaging, I would not know what. If it, I would I would just be like. Speechless. Listen, I'm glad. Listen, if she signed and she was waiting for it, I'm glad it's coming out for her sake, right? You know. My but other than that, first. Quote my first question, and D probably has information on this. Was this agreed to upon before AEW or after? Probably before. It was that everyone probably was scheduled. That's to yeah, nuts. That because we're talking yeah. five years here. In six years was the last time that the, the original the 2018. <laughs> I think summer of 2018 was when the first one came out. So this one Man. has red red hair, and uh, it's got like I think like skulls. It's supposed to look like uh, like like rivets and studs, like skull shaped rivets on the. Oh yeah, the, because she top. has one. This is a repaint. Yeah. Oh so, my god. Different different soft goods, but uh, May- okay. Tailoring and then, could be better. We could also say this. We could run this back, and I could take back everything I'm saying. If she ordered these, maybe for a merch table, then then that's praise, that's respect. But okay, I don't, true. I don't, I don't know if that's the case per se. I, I I wasn't aware that she had a figure already. I thought this was first time in the line. Same. I just forgot. Yeah, the other one doesn't have the the soft goods pants. It's it's supposed to be like her lucha underground outfit with like the. Uh, I would have thought that was like a Lita figure if I didn't know because of the pants yeah, and the hair. Lita too, yeah, yeah, for sure. And what happened? To FTC making elites or whatever no updates on that at the moment no, I, mean, I mean yeah just 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 besides the uh the crowd people and the uh, like the the backstage like personnel like the basically the fodder right. that they carry and, but that stuff's not even out right uh no i think yeah i think they just they just teased it i mean i'm, I'm not no, aren't uh, some, some aren't some of them out that are like a mishmash of mattel and jacks i know I mean, they, they they're more like in scale with the uh with the referee so like they're like they're like uh, basically six and six and six and a quarter inch there scale. Definitely of- something that they they make that are a mashup with Jack's parts and Mattel parts. I'm looking right now on their website. The, the new ones are like supposed to look kind of like uh, similar to like the way Jazzwares engineers. There's their stuff weapons. There's a cage. Their event staff stuff is like all uh, the ruthless bodies. The last thing we discussed about FTC was the uh, the dry race uh, the dry race sign. So that was the last time. I mean, they those were... I actually don't yeah. mind to be honest. But like, you could uh, make that. <laughs> all right, nothing. They, FTC. They, Jeez, they, FTC has an ambulance, guys. No, but they have some incredible stuff. It's like there's like imagine what they could do if they actually put in some fucking effort. They have the Raleigh Allen security guard, which I'll, I'll never not love. They have they do they have druids. Like you could have a lot of fun. Right, you, I mean, enough, you could have fun. Good. You could have fun with the stuff. It's just not the highest All quality right, you're probably is. looking for. Zombie sailor shows off this Brian Pillman. Dude, Listen, I I want to own is, that. I want to own that prototype. When is That's it coming how, out? Though I think Mattel <laughs> might be able to market. That's terrifying, but that is everything I could ever want in a Pillman figure. So I'm willing to wait, but. God damn. The gun is unreal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, the gun we would never get from Mattel, so that's freaking right. unbelievable, you know? I know these are going to be... Listen, Zombie has been absolutely killing it with the heels and faces line when you actually get it. The amount of time it takes to get one in your hand is, like, excruciating. But they do deliver. You know, it's worth the wait. But how long are we going to be... Gonna be blah, 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 blah. How long are we going to be waiting for this? I don't know, but I mean, at least <clears throat> we're seeing uh, some progression here. But like Where's I said, smart I'm, Mark Sterling, such a pillman mark. Already seen? Maybe I'm incorrect. Haven't we already seen a hand painted prototype with the soft good shirt on? Yeah. So we're like going backwards here, are we not? No, no. Th- this no, is no. a factory this sample. Be next, yeah, that's a factory. Like that's what it will feel like. You know, that's what it will be made out of. This isn't a first shot. This is before the first shot. Yeah. Okay. So hey, next would be a, if a sample. Being made, then that's next would be a sample that he has to approve and or make changes on, and then we go. All right. Well, D, you want to uh, you want to lead this Mattel news? Corporate Steve was dropping a lot of cool stuff this week. Yeah. So uh, basics are now being rebranded as <laughs> the main event series. I, so, I saw all this, and I was like, it's been fourteen years. Like 
who cares? I wonder why. It's interesting. I mean, I get, it. I better, get it. I guess. It's just her perception and people, you know, finding the product tomorrow. <laughs> you know, it's they'll never call them basics. They'll call me in a minute. I get it. They want to move on, but but it's not. It was never called basics like on the package, right? No. no, it was never used. It was just for for marketing. It was called basic. And like the assortments yeah. would be identified as that, whatever, however you want to do. Well, it. I am glad just, that they wasn't kept it the numbers just going. They didn't series. restart. That's how Ringside titles them, but it's the core line. That's a, a lot of. Oh yeah, it, then years ago they tried to call them the core line, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what it's the like core internal internally. Core? <laughs> yes, Heath was in every set. <laughs> So it's uh, Seth Rollins, Ted DiBiase, AJ Styles, and um, Casey. Right, Katana That's Chance. Katana Chance is the new name. Okay, but sorry. Uh, it's not four characters per wave. There actually is a fifth one that wasn't pictured. Uh, Brock Lesnar is uh, the other one. Yeah. yeah oh so, no. Yeesh. Yeah. So. And uh, Ted is what I like about this Ted is that it's Money Inc. entrance suit Ted. So I'm definitely getting this. Because it's got less detail. This is like what he wore like with IRS. Right, because the other one had like a gold. Yeah, so the, the chase is that goddamn collar, green, right? that Hasbro green for the millionth time. Right. What do you think? They, 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 they only did it as a, I don't think they did it as an elite for the Legends. Did they? um, yes, they, they've done it as an elite. They, the old they've man. Sick. They did a basic years ago, right? Yeah, yeah but Flash is an elite. Walmart. Yeah, then the elite from the Legends and now this. But I'm also wondering if, if it's tall enough, that's been the problem every time. The basics are a little, I mean, the main event series, they're a little bit uh, taller than the uh, elites. So they're Has about it only been done? Scale. Is this only the third time it's been done? I could have swore it was done. I think it's only the third time. time. Right. I think it's only the third time. They didn't do it until the first release was the 2018 flashback series that was exclusive to Walmart. The, yeah, the green the, suit. The, the build of J.J. Dillon, right? Well, then yeah. I take that back. If it's only the third time, then, then that's not... Too no, no, the build of... Is that build of Fink? Let's build of Fink, sorry. Yeah, I think he's in wave one. Yeah. And AJ Styles, so uh, Gallows and Anderson might be getting uh, some hey, some hey, executions here. AJ, not jacked enough. Definitely that's not. The, that's the torso <laughs> that they continue to use. I mean... Uh, they're going to have to update that. Listen, I, I like that they're putting more emphasis on this line... You know they they added the articulation. Now they're changing the, the name. Fig- the figures, the figures are great. They do deserve a, more than being called basics. Yes. And then, and then the Rollins looks good. Yeah, people are in the comments or whatever complaining that this wasn't elite, but you're getting like what you're you're losing like maybe I don't know like eight points of articulation. I mean you you, you still get all what you need there. I mean some of the paint ops got cut. When, but, when did he wear that? Is it like from from something? Probably it probably has some significance, but uh, yeah. I don't keep I'm up saying, with that. Why were people complaining there wasn't? That's probably why. It, it maybe because it has some type of uh, significance in terms of when it was worn. And then, that's uh, what I was getting at. Yeah. Yeah. And then this uh, this pairs with the upcoming. I think it's uh, in the next wave. Uh, the uh, uh, Caden Carter, aka Lacey Lane. So this, uh, if you have the uh, NXT, well, they didn't release those. Yeah, the NXT Women's Tag Team Championships. I don't know if, uh, and now that those are defunct, I don't know if there's any going to be any releases with that. But uh, you can uh, put these on the uh, Raw and SmackDown shelf, whichever brand they're affiliated with. Uh, I think Raw. <laughs> and then I uh, people were complaining that she was too small. Like, have you ever seen her in real life? She's, yeah, she's crazy small, five yeah. foot. So yeah, this it's should perfect. be the should be the should be the size. I think people are complaining. Uh, uh, well, I mean, once again, very few. I mean, very, very few users. But uh, the torso choice not jacked enough. <laughs> She's not lean enough, I guess. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, and uh, th- no pictures of the showdown. But um, championship showdown has also been rebranded main event showdown. So that'll be also mm. uh, taking the name that's as cool. well. All right, that's cool. And then champions wave two. Wave one, I don't think has hitched uh, hit shelves yet, but uh, wave one, I believe, featured Rock, Brock, and uh, Roman. So wave two features a, a Bionic Redneck 2001 uh, Invasion, I did, guess. Uh, didn't Stone they Cold. Just just released that in the two pack. I was going to say, yeah, did, he, did he just put this with Triple H in a two pack. Yeah, I think it, I think it is uh, just to, just uh, basically carry forward, just a single carded. So, but right. it also comes with the uh, uh, Big Eagle Championship. Uh, I guess. Probably 87 era Hogan with the winged eagle, even though I think, well, I got, yeah, probably 88. Yeah, because the winged eagle was introduced in 88. So, uh, and then uh, you got uh, about 2006 era Cena, or maybe 2005. Yeah. So, listen, I, I dig these sets. If they're not taking anything away from anybody, if they're just additional figures on the shelves, I'm fine with it. Well, Paul uh, 
in the chat here is making a good point. He's got the bicep, the shoulder cut. Yeah, I mean they haven't updated the book on on Hogan. It's it's still using existing tool from uh, from previous, so uh, just hasn't been instituted yet. I mean it's been instituted across like figures like uh, like Brock and uh, guys with the larger like the the Hulk size buck, but um, it's uh, Hulk as in Marvel Hulk. But uh, yeah, so just hasn't been revisited. Hasn't uh, yeah. So there's still gonna be some characters that get through the cracks, like that LA Knight. He had like um, the uh, swivel at the shins, so. Some char- uh, some 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 characters are gonna, some figures are gonna feature get random yeah. bonus articulation. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So that's Champions Wave Two, and then we have uh, Basic Top Picks Wave uh, Three. So that'll feature just carry forwards of Cena, Roman, and uh, Cody. Cool. I thought this was a little odd. Maybe it was just the uh, the image that the Cody doesn't say main event on the package. Yeah, I, I, I get it because. The previous he was in the previous topics wave, so they just reused the existing uh, e-commerce photos and didn't uh, take any new ones. So. It's the same exact figure as well. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same one as the previous. Yeah. Oh it's damn! On, uh, if you're a if you're a minnow card Cody figure collector, that's gonna suck. <laughs> I mean, if you if you look at the if if you look at the skew number, it's gonna be different. So that's the only difference, really. Uh, and then this is Elite Topics Wave Three. So uh, got Roman. Uh, so I think this is a uh, existing Roman, existing uh, Gunther. Gunter, and then uh, a new redeco of uh, Rey Mysterio with the LWO I like the Rey shirt. With the LWO shirt, it looks cool. And then uh, I think this might be. This isn't the first figure to feature the uh, Kinesio tape, but I think this is the first one to feature like actual like tampos across oh, the tape. So I didn't it's realize that oh, it, is, it is. It is. It's rock tape, but obviously they couldn't use the rock tape, so they, it just says tape in all caps across the tape. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. funny. I mean, but that's still that's still I don't very mind cool. That, yeah, yeah. That's it's very crazy. cool. So, because I think like, like the last character- a, well, no, a bunch of Cesaros have it, right? Yeah, and then there was a Mandy yeah. Rose, I think, as well. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a basic Mandy Rose that has it, right? Yeah, and then uh, yeah, just existing. Uh, I think that was Elite 102 Gunther, and then uh, not sure which reigns. I mean, that's been released uh, countless times, but uh, rightfully so. Sweet. And and then now we get on to the uh, Walmart exclusive Monday Night War wave. This is wave two. Oh hell yeah, love it. Yeah, the, the Ray new, so the Ray crazy. news is super upsetting. Yeah, Ray. Unfortunately, uh, it was supposed to be the unmasked Ray, like the filthy animals. That is uh, not happening. Maybe maybe down the line. So this is what we would have gotten with the Nitro ring, but in a, an elite form instead of the ultimate. It doesn't include the soft goods entrance jacket, so there is uh, some stuff that uh, is a little left out. And I think the other one uh, had, uh, I think, new laced boots, and I don't think this one and has that, the new laced boots. That's Nitro like that. de- debut, Ray. I don't think I need that because we have a is bunch that what, of nice... is, is that what it is, Nitro debut? Yeah. Uh, like, I think this like, is like, WCW debut, Ray. I think this is uh, Great American Bash. Or whatever. Potentially, yeah. yeah. That's what I meant. So, um, I, I to me, it, like... You know, like I yeah, but like the be... Elite 100, Ray, is so nice. That's a WCW. We're like, why would I... Ah, I true. Know. You don't need it. Has this. updated hands, I believe. I think these are brand new, uh, smaller sized hands, at least the uh, at least the C grips. So that's uh, also uh, some incentive there. And obviously has the uh, new mask that was in a uh, uh, first release with the uh, Elite 100. So this is great. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. This is, takes me back. Takes Ooh, me back. Kevin Nash with the hat. Kevin like- Nash with that Paul White Jack's uh, outfit on. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Has a sports watch. That's way cool. I love it. I absolutely it, love it. I, it's you, where the swap big, boys play. Swapple hair pieces. This is a must-have, in my opinion, for me personally. Oh, well, yeah. I have to get the whole set because it's a build a Teddy Long as a referee yes. set. So we should mention that. Gotta get this. I've been begging for this. The fake diesel. You know, Glenn Jacobs is <laughs> fake diesel. I absolutely love it. Look at that. I hair. love it. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> so cool! I dig it big yes, time. Yes, I love this. I love it. Wow! Diesel in parentheses. The Triple H, I don't love, but I think I'll be getting it. They just released what? this, right? In a Legends wave, I think it, that one had uh, the green, the green on the uh, in, uh, lining. So. Yeah, that's why I'm like, okay, yeah. That's a tough sell yeah, for me. Yeah, I'm not quite. I mean, I have like Brian said, I have to get them all to make the Teddy, and then I'll figure out. Do I need the Ray? Do I need the Triple H? But I love it. I love the whole set. I hope Teddy, there's another Teddy one. Has, Teddy as the ref three. is really, really fun because we don't. We literally don't have a 
ref from that era, right? An attitude. Yeah, era. this this is the first one with the scratch logo. So yeah, totally. Oh, then man, at least so in your cool. collections, if you've got like an '80s collection, you have Danny Davis. You know, you have this for the attitude. I don't know. I feel like that kind of covers some ground. Modern day, you'll have John Cohn soon. So and then also. This- uh, I found this interesting. I thought this was a ringside exclusive, but I guess it'll also be on Mattel Creations. Yeah, just like just like the cane, just like the cane last year. It's a shared Shared. exclusive between Mattel Creations and Ringside. So just I um, love it. I mean, for me personally, I'm building it. You know, I'm keeping it as like NWO Bischoff, 100. No, yeah, without a doubt, no question. Nitro ring. I don't think will ever get built in my collection, but still, it's awesome. I dig it. That's a buy and uh, sell the ring. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep me. the ring, but definitely going to get it for Bishop, 100%. Well, we have the Coliseum Collection Heart Foundation. Finally, um, I'm pumped for these. I'm super pumped. What an awesome picture. That's great. I love these. I think they're really, really cool. Based off the LJNs, not quite exactly. The LJN-inspired uh, card backs. Also, there'll be chases with the black. Card, just, which like, I don't. Just, just like well, slaughter. You better get used to it, Matt, because every wave's going to have them. I know. I saw <laughs> that. Oh, really? That was announced? Yeah, it was announced. So That's, That slaughter holds a lot of value. It was very tough to get, so that's going to be interesting. Yeah. What really <sighs> pisses me off, and like, listen, I'm saying that, and like, uh, I'm mad because I have to get it. Like, even the artwork is different, you know? So it's Look, not, I mean, which it I looks, do appreciate. They went the extra mile to it change it. It looks really too. cool, dude. I mean, it is awesome. Yeah. In my psycho brain, it's like, ah, oh, but the heart's thrown on black card. But I see what they're doing here. They're adding a little look incentive. At, I, mean, look I at like the, it. That looks, the back even looks awesome now that there's a bunch of these Coliseum yes. collections. Man. Yep, yep, yep. I love that it included like the LJN-style tag team titles. Yeah, it's really see, fun. Yeah, I know Brian and I collect these differently. He collects these with his elites. I collect them as a, a separate entity. <laughs> yeah, it's too weird. I don't think so. But... <laughs> Ryan Purvis says, nice to see Tito Santana go. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the Brett, uh, the Brett, you need to put the shades on per Mattel Bretts, but. Hey, can I see the anvil again? See, here's my, here's another one of my complaints here. I wish anvil had the open hand, like how Brett has an open hand, because like his LJN has the open hand. Right. Interesting. A little nitpick. Yeah. I wish he had the open hand instead of like, I don't know. Yeah, but that's a you you problem because to me, these are just ultimates and I don't care that they're a wink and a nod to the LJNs. I just posed Well, I mean, they even posed it in the LJN pose and he looks odd because he doesn't have the open no, hand. I know what you're saying, but I'm saying I don't care. Okay, that's fine. So great job from Mattel. I hope this line continues. I fucking love it. So hopefully maybe at this at the world, that WrestleMania thing, we might see the next, unless they've announced the next two that I don't know about. Do you have they announced it? No, yeah, this is wave four, and then uh, wave five will be uh, announced uh, in the future. So Let's stay go. tuned. Cool, great. And w- was there anything else from from Mattel this week? No, that's it. Sweet. All right, guys. And uh, up next, we have some some ringside news. Check out Ringside Collectibles Revolution Sale going on now for some huge figure deals, new in stock. DX Retro Ringside Exclusive with Triple H, China, and the New Age Outlaws, Road Dog, and Billy Gunn. Expected in soon, AEW Unrivaled 14 with Keith Lee, Swerve Strickland, Anthony Bowens, Ricky Starks, Max Caster, and Tony Storm. Wait, those aren't in stock, but they've been in the stores? I know. Padauer, you're, you're slipping, dog. You're slipping, dog. Oh, I'd be pissed if I was ringside. <laughs> they probably are, and rightfully Guts, so. Darby Allen vs. Brody King, exclusive two-pack. And up next is the ringside top ten. This episode of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast has been brought to you by Ringside Collectibles, the number one online retailer of WWE action figures. Go to WrestlingFigures.com and make a purchase, and when you do, use discount code MAJOR at checkout to save 10%. Number 
10, LA Knight, Elite 108. Number 9, Cody Rhodes, Red Tights, Elite Top Picks 2024. Number 8, Asuka, Ultimate Edition 20. Number 7, CM Punk, AEW, Unmatched Series 8. Number 6, The Usos, Bloodline, Ultimate Edition 2-Pack. Number 5, Solo Sokoa, Elite 107. Number 4, Finn Balor, Elite 107. Number 3, Paul Bearer in the Black Suit, Elite 106. Number 2, DX WWE Retro 4-Pack, Ringside Exclusive. And number 1, Logan Paul, Elite Top Picks 2024. And up next is the Weekly Purchases, brought to you by Major Bendy's. All right, guys, if you didn't know, now you're going to know. Matt and I have started our own toy line. Major Bendy's are here. Assortments of modern-day superstars and the legends, and we've even expanded with the big rubber guys. That's right. We have Major Bendy's. We have the big rubber guys, just like those LJNs from your childhood. Every month, we have new Major Bendy's, new big rubber guys, and now we have licenses like Jay and Silent Bob. So check out all these figures over on MajorBendy's.com. Some might cost a little. Some might cost a lot. But I'm the thousand dollar broski. And your figures will be bought. <laughs> Weekly purchases brought to you by Major Bendy's. Use the hashtag Major Bendy's every single week. If we choose your picture or video, you will get a Major Bendy's magnet. Mark, who won this week? Oh, yeah, that's me again. That's you. All right, here we go. Major Bendy's winner, guys. It's a great one. <laughs> Joe Sullivan at Awesome Joe is. Hey, yo, it's me. It's me. It's TTD at Major WF Pod TTD Wrestling working on getting my Major Bendy's collection signed. And so happy I have this one. And it's a picture of the TTD riff, uh, Bendy. Love it. And he signed it in a nice yellow pink pen. All right, before we go into what we're all going to talk about, let me quickly just say that I finally got the series with Series 5 with Heath, Conan, uh, Chavo Guerrero with Pepe, and Diana. This might be one of my most favorite sets. And what I really love is that they're gone. You can't get them. The pre-order is the order, just like the upcoming uh, Extreme Major Benders. I also want to say these, though, you can order right now. The Chavo Guerrero on the WCW S carding on MajorBendies.com. This is the variant Chavo Guerrero. You could also get Ponderosa, Deanna Perrazzo in the blue on the Impact Style packaging on MajorBendies.com right now. And also, MikeDurbin.com. You can get the WCW-esque Conan in that K-Dog Wolfpack style. Man, this Conan... Might be Bendy of the year right now. I really told great. you. I told you. And I really love that we're building up these two, like, well, not just two, but, you know, we have the WCW-esque packaging, and there's a bunch of people in that set. The Impact-esque packaging, a bunch of people in that set. And, of course, the uh, ECW oh. original San Francisco Toy Maker-esque packaging. So keep buying your major Bendies and your big rubber guys. And speaking of big rubber guys, this is the last week. The last week to get Hacksaw Jim Duggan, to get Magnum TA, and the pre-order is the order. Don't miss out. Don't pay those ridiculous secondary market prices on eBay. Get them today, MajorBendies.com. All right. Finally. Here we go. I, I haven't even opened the box. I mean, it feels, it feels Break like it a down. Long, long time. The ringside exclusive. DX Retro 2 packs in stock, shipping exclusively from Ringside Collectibles. I'm hyped. Bro. Broski, did you open yours already? I opened them up already. I absolutely love them. I love that China could do a low blow. I saw that in the group. I think that is a little wink to that, right? I mean, obviously, Very it doesn't cool. say it on the, the package. The gun I also love is doing the same action as his Hasbro with the punch. I saw that post too. 
Uh, just so everyone knows, there is tape that you do have to break the seal for the resealable packaging. So not quite resealable for those uh, min on card enthusiasts. That's why I have two sets. I dig the Whoa. jumper road dog, and I dig the suck it hands. Oh, yeah. Really wow. cool. I'm going to turn my light here. I got Billy Gunn. I love, oh, man, I do love the Billy Gunn. He is his old move, but also a classic Hasbro puncher like that. Yeah. That's really fun. I love everything about this set. The so cool, so toyetic. Um, I, I love the packaging. That brand. I don't know if you got these. Did you get the ringside two-pack defenders? I did. I picked those up as well because I will attempt to at least have Road Dog really going to Triple H sign these someday. So. Well... I don't know about you, Brian, but I I checked out some Hasbro's. The Hasbro's fit these perfectly as well. Yeah, that was their intention all along. Does Triple H ever sign anything ever? It's been years. It's it's gonna be hard to get him to sign. I'll yeah, tell you that. It's been years. But I'm loving I love this road dog jumper. I love that it's like it has the green around it. Really, really dig it. The back, you know, shows Triple H trying to Billy Gun Road Dog. It's just an incredible set. Really, really cool. I asked Ringside John. I tried to get some info out of him. He says there might be a, another, you know, set coming soon. So I, I love that through this podcast, and not because of this podcast, but like the retros were dead, and we never thought we'd get another one. And then we get all these cool figures. Yeah, we've we had a Ringside lot exclusives. since that. <laughs> since, since that? that? Since that thought, or that whatever they we were told, they were on ice. Right. We've, we've gotten, gotten so lot. many of them. Yeah. And the, I love the Bill. I love that we live in a world where Billy Gunn has two ringside exclusives, and they're for different companies. That that is a wild, tr like trivia, modern day trivia fact, huh? Yeah. So when, when I'm looking at this China as a standalone, I absolutely love it. If it was like next to the Wendy Richter, I think she's not jacked enough. But as a standalone, I, I dig it. I know this is supposed to be DX, but I do kind of wish this was like the gray and silver heel hunter because we already have. Series 2 Retro Hunter is the same era. I, I have to disagree with you, Brian. I'm glad it's yeah, this one. Me too. What's that? I'm, I'm with Broski on that. Well, I wait, disagree what, with you. What, 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 was, what was your counter argument? No, I, I th this fits the DX set. Attitude Era. But the series, you guys know what I'm talking about? Series 2 Retro Hunter yeah. is yeah, SummerSlam 98. It's not the at least. It's not the That's same That's what I'm gear. saying. Now, if you the, could, I mean, I'd take that right. one, but they could just make that separate. Oh, yeah. If you could fantasy book the next ringside two two packs, mm. what would you do? I want more attitude era people, so I'm not. I'm not sure who who they have. Um, I mean, could they do, like, could they do the nation, or would that sell enough? <sighs> no, I think you need like the Rock. How about a Rock in like a suit, like you know, five hundred. Dollar shirt, whatever, right? Um, or like they haven't done an attitude or a taker, right? Hey, what what if what if it's like corporate ministry? Then then you could make this what I was talking about. Taker, right? rock. Then you could do that triple H you were talking about. Wasn't he in the corporate yeah. ministry? That's a great call. Dudley's and Headbangers. They were all all on the table now. Ooh, that could be cool too, like two tag teams. Yeah. Jeans and shirt, Stone Cold. I would love. Yeah. Oh would be cool too. man. Now that you say that, I wouldn't mind just a, a flat out like Monday Night Wars if they call it like that. You uh, know? Not like a '97 Cactus Jack would be cool. Ooh, Dude, love. That's also good. There's there's a lot of meat on the bone with this line. Like we still need if they're gonna go the WCW route, which they already have. We need a Goldberg. Yeah, right, because we only got Oldberg. We got old man Oldberg. Yeah, we got Oldberg. Yeah, yeah we okay. need a jacked Goldberg. You're That's so true. right. There's it's kind of like the, the, the Warrior going doing. from Warrior 1 to Warrior 2. <laughs> it's, it's just such a better figure. Um, Yeah, man, I love these figures. And, you know, if you go back to the We Want Retro segment segment that we did for, like, whatever, 15 weeks, like, D all the DX were on those. This, this is one of our, you know, most wanted and, retro figures. And we were worried about... This body type, I think it's great for the China. I know that we're worried about Wendy Richter, but I think it looks great in comparison to everybody. I don't think I mean right. I think yeah. Well, I like think I said, yeah. standalone looks fine. I think when you put it next to the Wendy, it's like one of them looks off. That might be the case, but 
I don't think anyone's doing that. So, well, I mean, her it's arms very possible are they can display next to Wendy. Other, I actually think it's a great China, probably not the best Wendy Richter body choice. There you go. Yeah. But I, I, I love I love this whole set. I hope it sells really well and and you know, ringside makes even more exclusives. I, I mean if we can get it. two four packs a year, I'm a happy boy from ringside. And we got the NWO, we got this yeah, one. So eight new figures just from ringside, I would keep, absolutely keep it love coming. That. Yeah. Hey, keep I'm, coming, I'm not baby. totally sure on based on number. But I will tell you that this, we are getting very close to retros versus Hasbro's as far as the numbers made. Oh, I bet it's Woo. I bet it's very close. Yeah, because my D- retros. Hey, are, hey my D, ha- D, 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 crunch those numbers before the end of the show. <laughs> yeah, see, so, so yeah, how many? How many? I want to say there's like n- less than a hundred Hasbro's. Yeah, Hasbro's I just know based on my shelf. My, my Hasbro's shelf is, like is one. eighty or something. I think it's eight. just over 90. Is it 90? I thought it was like 80 or so Hasbro. And we mean we would mean unique loose figure looks, not, yeah, the, yeah. Like the, not the packages. All right. All right. These are, this is awesome. I don't have anything else. This is my Whoa. only thing this week. I got a bunch of stuff. This this week I caught up on all my mail. Um I do I got this Slimer figure, which is really cool. With the uh, upcoming yeah. Ghostbusters movie, it does. New, it makes a lot of different noises. There's a new a lot of cool Slimer noises, and like the arms are like articulated. That's so, great. It's just cool. You you know make it like you're just coming. Ah! Who who makes that? It's a Hasbro product. Oh, cool. So the uh, the upcoming Ghostbuster movie, uh, Chelsea and I are going to the premiere in New York City. We got the invite. What? I what? didn't know there was a new movie. Yeah, new movie coming out with. Uh, hey, I'm not saying it's because I had that GCW Mania engine in the Ecto One, but we'll be there. <laughs> that is cool, man. That New is York. Really I got my cool. my uh, David Allen making my green suit right now. Slimer Holy green. Holy shit, that is so cool, dude. I said here, I wanted to be Slimer green. Let's make it classy. I said I don't want to look like the Riddler, and I don't want to look like Mojo Rawley. <laughs> 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 they took like the suit, so they'll know. I feel like that's going to be a uh, tough task, but okay. It's going to look very classy. <laughs> so I'm excited really, for that. Really cool. Uh, all right, guys. I got it. The homicidal, genocidal, Whoa. suicidal Sabu. Are we opening it? We I'm talk about this it. a lot on Boozing with the Toys, guys. Oh. I'm going to open it on Let Them Breathe. So that's oh. some incentive to sign up to majormarks.com. Uh, the two, I believe it's the 250th Let Them Breathe. Is a Kurt Hawkins deluxe aggression. Whoa. So then the <laughs> nice. week after that will be this uncensored Sabu. Hopefully it doesn't break, but there's some incentive I mean, to uh, go to majormarks.com. That would be definitely worth it because the way Broski acts when toys break upon opening, and we know it's always entertaining. So I hope it doesn't. But in the package, I don't like it because, <laughs> like you said, you see his armpit and nipple. Yeah. But there's, there's perfect room to get signed. That's so true. that's a plus, right? Yeah, I mean, I have one saved for that very reason, but it is what it is. Anything else, Brad? Um, yeah, uh, Chris Sullivan hooked me up with this Chase ROH Luminaries CM wow. Punk Limited to five thousand. I went to ringside, got a little Defender ski to keep it safe. Pretty cool. Once again, like I said, just a massive ROH market this time, so I wanted to have both versions of the Punk because I'm pretty sure we're not getting any more. Um, also, as a little gift ski, uh, Chris got me this, which is super cool. I want to do a special thank you. It's a Impact Wrestling 1000 episode PSA slab ticket stub for wow, my personal, wow, that's cool. personal collection. As you know, I am Mr. 1000. I was on the 1000th episode of Raw, SmackDown, and Impact, the only male performer to do so. So, uh, I just thought this was a really, really cool thing to add to my collection. So much appreciated. It's a very, very cool thing to to keep for myself. I got finally the Epic Toys two pack of the British Bulldogs. You gonna let that breathe? I'm gonna let this breathe also on Let Him Breathe. Wow, <laughs> so we're so, really selling. I will say just by looking at them, this might be the best cello slash epic product out to date. <coughs> wow. That's what they're saying. 
I I, ac- I absolutely dig it. Um, if you have them in hand, like the the torso to waist, it looks a little odd. Like the gap looks a little like uneven. Like either the tights are uneven or like the torso is uneven. If that makes like, sense, like one is bigger than the other. No, there's just like it just doesn't sit flat. Like there's too much of there's like a minor gap, but it's it's big enough to be noticeable. Okay. But otherwise, I think there's nice shine to these. Um, the the face sculpts look great. So, and looking at the back of the box, we have the Missy Hyatt coming out still, the Onita, the Adrian Street, the Eddie Guerrero, and the Killer Bees. I'll be getting all of them except for the Adrian Street. So. I'll be getting the Eddie, I'll be getting the DDP, the Killer Bees, and I'll probably be getting the Onita as well. Definitely Missy Hyatt, for sure. What's your What's your problem with Adrian Street, then? I've just had no connect. I, you know, I don't think I've ever seen an Adrian Street match in my life, so I, I'm not a completist but on this line by any means. It's, right. it's certainly toyetic, but... but I, feel, <laughs> I feel like you have everything but Adrian Street. <laughs> no, that's untrue. Who do you not untrue. have? I don't have a lot of, like, their big daddy and stuff like that I don't have. Okay, okay. Um, so you hate British yeah. re- wrestling, is what you're trying to say? <laughs> How do you even watch? You have to look at. I would say that I'm just not a fan of it. You know uh, anyway, my last thing. You know, this guy's producing my match this weekend, and he's asking me all these questions about what I'm going to do. And I said, uh, actually, could you sign this for me real quick? So Lance Storm is the first of my ECW Wow magazine collection. So I'm trying to get all six ECW magazines signed by the talent. Now let me open this up for discussion. I was about to put this away or get a frame for it. Then I realized Dawn Marie is at a signing I'm doing in like two weeks. Do I get her? Oh, 100% no got to get Dawn Marie to no sign. Questions. She's on the cover. So I think that's the move. I'll get Dawn Marie to sign at the big event coming up That's a, a no weeks. question. I'll be now, there. Now when you walk up to Dawn Marie, do you know her? Or I met her... In 2010, I went with Gallows to an indie show, and I met her and talked to her pretty substantially. So I feel like she'll remember me, but either way, I don't care. I'm still going. You know, would you wait in line or were you sneak behind? No, I I at these conventions I never do that. I send somebody or or I'll pop over. You know, whatever. It's not that tough, but yeah, I guess when you both immediately said yes, then I mean, I feel like I have to get it signed by her as well. Paul Riot Riles also says yes. Right. It shall All be right. done. Uh, Chris Risley, I got this. Another Kurt Hawkins micro brawler exclusive what, chase. So it's basically all these? Brian Major. Listen, I need a bunch of them for my collection. I also got some other micro brawlers. I got the Captain Insano, Paul White. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, cool. And is I that, got the American Dream. Is that um, Dusty Rhodes? Is in- Insano a little taller? Like the Andre? Maybe slightly. I have him in the package right now, so I can't quite tell. Mm-hmm. I'm bummed that we're not getting that insane AEW figure that was promised. Yeah, we'd love some clarity on that, but I absolutely would. It is what well, it is. From my good friends at Paul Mart, even though they're not my good friends, I got the Monday Night Wars. You're the whole so set. I will also You're be the unboxing set. these on Let Him Breathe. It's the Undertaker, who I believe I think I'm going to keep as is. Uh, I think this is a keeper in my collection. Of course, it's the build uh, Lex Luger. So I'm I got to say this. Broski is the only one using Palmar. We're sleeping on Palmar here. We're the losers. He's getting everything early. It should be said, these are the prices are pretty outrageous. I don't I don't think they are, to be honest. No. They're 40 bucks, and I think time is money. So instead of wasting all of my time and gas going to Walmart after Walmart, I can just get them right to my door. And early. Damn, I need all of these. <laughs> I also, this Austin is incredible with the beer can. Uh, the Hogan. <laughs> Man, I'm on the fence about Hogan, I'll be honest, guys. Uh, so yeah, it's not it's not iconic enough. Like It's it's unique, and I get it. But, man, I'm not quite sure. I think for now I'm going to display it. But push comes to shove if I ever have to make cuts in the near future. <laughs> Wait, hold on a it, second. What? What? Why would you not want that? What? What? I don't think it's iconic enough. One it's, promo. It's not. Yeah. To but me, it's, it's like not. early NW. Doesn't it fit right with the Nash and the and the um, Hall? 
Not quite. I mean, I think the Bash of the Beach Hogan, like, or that era Hogan kind of goes with that hall, like when, you know, when he turns. Huh. I don't know. I guess it could. Listen, it goes, definitely yeah, goes. My, in my mind, that's going right with those two promo hall and. Uh... You know what? I think you just sold me right there, Mark. You oh sold me. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then here it is the hall that I've been waiting for forever. And in hand, <laughs> I will say. The vest is as bad as it looks online. No. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Oh, I, didn't, it's I was like, hoping you wouldn't say that. The problem is they gave the the washed effect to the pants, but, but not, not the, the vest. vest. So Which in my like, opinion, they should have like, kept it all they one run or out the of, other. Run out of money in the budget? Like, that sucks. I, I believe so. Another thing that kind of pissed me off, but not necessarily, it's... A WWE microphone. Now they didn't color it in, so it's like the mold is there. You know what I'm saying? I thought it's flat. You talking about the the microphone? You hold it up. You're, you're not gonna be able to see it. Yep. Yeah. You I get what I'm say, saying? I, it's I it's not it. painted, so it's all black from a distance. You won't be able to see. Mm. But if you mm. really look up close, it's a WWE microphone. Man, I always and thought I feel those like were, they must have other microphones, do they not? I always thought those are flat. Yeah, and they put that in with like, you, you know, know the, uh oh. Uh-oh. They've been using that mold for uh ever since twenty fifteen. So they uh haven't uh haven't uh, grinded it down and gotten rid of the logo. I mean they they changed it to the new logo, the the network logo in twenty fourteen when they were developing that. So don't they have some don't some figures come with WCW microphones like a Ric Flair with with the Tampa on it. But they uh, so the way they do it is that they have the WWE logo on the side. And then the way you display it is so they only they only do tampos on two uh, well multi-layer tampos on 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 the front and the back side, And then the sides are the WWE logo. I see. Uh, yeah, I got you. Man, I did not realize that. That sucks. It's been that way for what eight years, nine years. So. <laughs> so really, that's just well, missing the. The nitro like logo or whatever would have saved that. It's on there. It's just it's it's just on the smooth sides instead of the sides with the raised logo. So, got it. Well, listen, okay. it's a great set. Um, I, I'm all in on the. I might be a completist on the Monday Night War, so I might have to keep that Ray and Hunter like we talked about earlier. Ah, fuck, I don't know what wow. I'm going to do. Wow, it's just so unfortunate that we don't have that nitro arena or nitro stage to go with this. You know they were. You know they were banking on that getting funded because they went all in the line, the ring. Yeah. Maybe bums me. One out. day, one magical day. One day. All right. Uh, last things I got. I got two of the basic Chase Chelsea greens. I was going through my Chelsea green collection and I realized that Chelsea, like, was selling all these figures that I had for her, like, put aside. <laughs> So, like, at one point, I had so many uh, Chelsea Greens, she was just selling them on her website, and I'm like, where are all the figures? So, I had to rebuy them. <laughs> that is a very macro and they're not cheap. story. So she they're was, not cheap. I didn't, so, she has a website that she just kind of has an inventory in, and people buy it, and whatever. Yeah, she has, like, a big cartel, you know? But why? <laughs> so, she one day, she went out in that garage and counted, like, how many figures and put it as an inventory and... I think she, I I think like I had so many at one point. Like I yeah. think if you go to her website right now, it has an inaccurate amount of inventory. You know, got it. Got it. I think she's. I don't even. She probably put like a thousand of each because I had so many. She didn't think she would sell that much, but she did. Yeah, that's. And I tell you her had like a lifetime Chelsea, supply. I, I like you stop selling these fucking figures. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> no, no, no. Do you not have any left now? You, like I have to go buy them. Yeah, man, that rules. But well, let me just say this, corporate Steve. He sent me a nice little gift here. He sent me the Superstars Kane. Really, he sent me another package for Chelsea and threw this in. So what he sent me to give to Chelsea. Who couldn't care less. Corporate Steve sent me the upcoming Chelsea Green figures. I will be honest. When I first saw the render, I was like, "Uh, I don't really love the face. But in person, it's way better. Cool. Great figures, I think this man. blue one is incredible. Has the hat, has the skirt. Uh, I'm not opening these up because you know these are samples and they're Chelsea's. 
Um, this is the other chase, which I don't really like because it's missing a lot of color. It's supposed to be like a almost like a rainbow esque. Yeah, we covered it. Yeah, we covered it, but I, I'm super proud and happy for her. And it, like I said, has the hat, has the skirt, super toyetic, has the uh, the shh on the uh, the finger. So hopefully these sell really well. So congrats to Chelsea Green. Yeah, that's and awesome. Gonna need a bunch of those. Uh oh. All right, Matt. Here's an uh, incentive to uh, keep that chase. Or, I mean, or or to buy multiple because that chase is the one that the sculpt is based off of. If you look at it, it's got sculpted Swarovski uh, Swarovski crystals along. I think like the trim of the top and at the top of the knee pad covers. So the blue gear, she did not have Swarovski crystals at least on those areas. So. Oh, so this is photoshopped. I mean, on on that, but like, there's like pertin cer- certain parts of the blue gear that like those crystals don't don't line up with. Huh. If you look at the, if you look at her studio shots and compare side to side, you got them in a frenzy here, D. So the chase is the one that I have pre-ordered because, uh, but once again, not not everyone's a psycho. So, but the the cri- I see what you're saying, but like the crystals just aren't painted on the gear. Right. Yes, but the sculpt, yeah, yeah. So in the, in a and they don't correlate where you're trying with to choose gear. between the two, you pick the one that that so, the sculpt is based on. D the crystals sculpted bother will bother you, but not the fact that that's the completely wrong color of the gear. Once again, that, that's tie dye. That's 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 very difficult to execute in terms of uh, deco. So that's I'm multi- so confused because the listen they they Photoshop stuff all the time, but like the back has all the crystals on on the gear. You're saying that's photoshopped as well. No, not the back. I'm saying like like there's like like the knee pad covers. You can't see them because all those are all those are cropped above. But like the knee pad covers, those particular have like crystals on it. And there, I think there's another area as well on the top that doesn't, uh, I guess, compare. D, you're a weird guy because I think it, it would bother me more that the the gear the isn't, doesn't have the right color. That's as what well I said. Unpainted crystals. Well, the sculpt is the most important of, and then and then you get the deco. I just feel like deco. both. If you're saying this, then both versions are fantasy gear. I mean, if you want to be a stickler or whatever about like that, but I mean, that's tie dye guys. If you want to be a stickler, yeah, that's like right. that's like complaining. My that God, CM, that's like complaining that the CM Punk camo on that on that Unrivaled Supreme didn't match with the actual camo. It's like, yeah, it's just not going to happen. Like that's just impossible to do because it's a patterned outfit. That's why Candice LeRae and Bianca Belair, their outfits are so difficult to achieve, and that's why Candice probably that could have been an incentive why she switched over to just the the standard gear because. That's multi-layer tampos that just ain't gonna happen. So you think that's way, why she switched over, D? <laughs> no, just, she just, was like Johnny. Joke, I'm guys. never, gonna, I'm never gonna another figure because uh, because the multi-layer tampos. Yeah, I'm gonna turn heel here. because because Mattel's just. Uh, never I mean, gonna guys, get it right. I did cut my hair when I had the Bradley Cooper hair because Bill told me he wasn't gonna make me a new mold, so I cut my hair and then I got a figure. That is true. But you're a psychopath, and no one else is thinking like that. Well, Brian, did you I see Candice do do a bluey inspired gear at for Elimination Chamber? No. Yeah. Pretty. Well, awesome. that's all I got. So. All uh, right. Was, that was everything I had. Oh, hey, right, hey, so- real quick, real quick, actually. Um, so I I looked this up. So <laughs> this was this was exactly what I was thinking about, right? So so but that's Hall not wore. It. I know it's not it, but Hall wore that again because I knew there was a promo where they. Went and took over the show. The three of them. You so know that's kind of even more dumb to me that they didn't. Make yeah, it right. It kind of it kind of hurts my argument. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, yeah. percent. But in my mind, I was thinking there definitely was a time that Hogan was with Hall in that gear, and he was wearing something similar. Also, but it's not Scott Hall in 1996 owned multiple Canadian tuxedos. How about that? No, it's probably the same one. I thought you were saying it was different. Oh no, I, I don't know if it's different. I. I, I, that could be the exact same outfit, but Hogan's different. No, oh, I thought you were saying had the one he debuted in was lighter, but maybe not. I have no idea. I'm colorblind. It looks the same to me. All right. <laughs> I have no idea. Anyway. All right, so is it now right. time for a major mark purchase of the week? Yeah. All right. All righty. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, here we go. Boom. Guys, we don't talk about Roger Rabbit here ever. But Anthony Dandria says, just added to my Who Framed Roger Rabbit collection, Benny the Cab Bendem figure from LJN, sealed and unpunched, just missing Jessica to complete the set. Um, 
there was a, somebody in production at AEW <clears throat> that would always talk about Roger Rabbit. It was a favorite movie and always looking for memorabilia. And there's not much. I feel uh, and, like that's something if we, I watched a lot when I was a kid, but if we watched it, I feel like I would not like it. I uh, watched bro, it I watched it recently. It still holds up. Yeah, really? Okay. Because it's practical effects and they, they, they did it so well. Okay. And, I, think um, it's, I think I think honestly that's like a movie that we probably shouldn't have watched as a kid. <laughs> Some violence. Yeah, probably not. I don't I was so little watching that. I, I couldn't even tell you like what it was about or what happened or Yeah, well I watched it like every day. Guys what? he's back. Yeah, La sick. Puma. There are some cool mail days, and then there are some holy shit mail days. Sent this Hogan three pack to the beach shop in early January before it was street legal in hopes to be the first to get it signed. That didn't happen, but I am the first to get three SIGs on it. It took seven weeks to get back to me, but it was signed just like I asked. Hogan signed over the 80s figure Hulkster and all my years. I've never seen him do that. The Hollywood Hogan for life and regular Hulk Hogan. So I got three different autos in three different colors. I Sold love Hogan. it. Yeah. I wouldn't have had him do Hulkster though. I think that's cool. Hulkster's WCW. I mean, my argument is you got to make it three different autographs. You don't want Hulk Hogan, Hollywood Hogan, Hulk Hogan, right? So you got uh, something. I don't know. Hey, he wore he wore a Hulkster headband in the '85 Matt. WrestleMania Did one. He? WrestleMania one. Look at the ultimate wave thirteen. Ah, fuck, D. You're right. All right, Lapuma, <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I, you're right. I, I dig it. I think it's cool as fuck. Well, he says, sold the Hogan mailway I had in December because I wasn't happy with it. Found a mint one and jumped on it last week. These both came on Saturday. What wow, a what a day. big boy week for La Puma. Yeah, He's La Puma, working over here to pay he for this. He must have been working hard to get all that money for that shit. Jesus. I got to ask you about this, Matt. I don't know uh, what the fuck that Paul is. Paul Frickleton. Is that a Baja wait, Blast? Wait, Matt, are you saying what the F? Yeah, what is that? Okay, well, you're going to be pissed, pal. Oh, is that cotton this- candy? Paul Frickleton said, saw Matt on the weekend at Destiny Wrestling, had a nice chat, and purchased an MC logo ball cap and an internet champion dual sign card. But my favorite purchase was this deathmatch king and queen cotton candy they were selling at the snack bar. What? (laughs) (laughs) Yo. Broski. I mean, listen, I don't count that. I'm not counting that, but. Not happy about it. Oh, that might be my. In new the favorite. comments of that was Steph saying, "Where's my cut?" That's what I'm saying, pal. Man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that is so good. Paul Frickleton, how how did it taste? How was the Matt cotton oh candy? Oh my god! Fuck. <laughs> this is cool. all right. Check this out. <sighs> Joshua Miller, nearly seven years of searching, countless messages sent to countless toy shops in countless states. All the way from South Korea, the 1993 ERTL Super Mario Brothers live action movie 11 uh, and, a, and a half inch pull string talking Mario and Luigi. These aren't the four and a half figures you usually see. I finally found a solid condition Luigi after years of searching. I've only seen three listed on eBay in the past four years. The seller had an auction for Luigi and Mario with boxes. I decided to pull the trigger and bid. I was the only bid. <laughs> After tax and shipping, these bad boys ran me just north of $800. Unfortunately, what? Unfortunately, the seller was a tad shady, and the boxes showed up in much worse condition than the description and pictures let on, even though the shipping box was in perfect condition. In the end, the seller ended up refunding me more than half of what was I originally paid. Now, I finally have a complete set. Either way, I that's I never really, saw that movie. I, I, oh, saw, I, I saw that movie in the theater. It's not good. But... um. What I was going to say movie, is... Terrible movie, but I loved it. That's the best feeling, though, like when you've been searching for something that long and seven years is a long time, you know? Yeah. That's a, that's a good feeling for a collector, so... They even have the jump boots on. Oh, they, that looks like the Mario, but that does not look like John Leguizamo. <laughs> Wait, Neither. John Leguizamo's not the, bro- not the brother, not Luigi, is he? Uh, I think he is. Yeah, he yeah, is. yeah, yeah he is. You're right, got, you're right. got his other figure signed at Com- Comic-Con. It didn't look like him either. Yeah, that does not look John Leguizamo. All right. Uh, guys, come wow. on! Look at this. Nick Gross. Bucci says, "When I heard the cast of the TV show Entourage was having a reunion, I definitely wanted a signed piece. 
I knew a guy that previously did a signing with Jeremy Piven and had this poster available, so I sent out it out to be signed by the other four actors. It's hard to get any cast signed piece done in one shot, but I basically pulled it off here. Very happy with the end result. It's awesome. I love that they all inscribed their character names, too. Oh, so good. What a <clears throat> fan. I'm, I'm due for a rewatch of that. Still, me too. It's still, good. It's, I think it's still my favorite show of all time if I had to pick. It's amazing. Yeah. All right. Very interesting. Hardy Heft says, just arrived today, VHS screener for the WCW VHS Kevin Nash, oh The Outsider. God. A screener. I said, what? He said, what's a screener? A VHS screener was a promotional VHS shipped to rental shops that used to plug upcoming or new movie, television show, or similar to the public or press before it premieres or releases. Screeners would mostly be found in a full screen 1331 format, although... Some are also in letterboxed widescreen. It comes with a VHS, a baggy smash and slam figure, and some order forms. Info about upcoming WCW VHS releases as well. Pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. As, as like a piece of merch, like just a random WCW item to have, it's like pretty cool. Yeah. That's, pretty that's something unique. I would put on a shelf. Yeah. All right. That's it. What's next? All right. Up next is Snubbed Superstars. All right, guys, snubbed superstars, a hard foundation major mark chooses a wrestling figure toy line. Mark surprises us with that toy line, and we say, who was snubbed? Of course, some people were left out, but who was really screwed over? Who was snubbed? All right, we definitely talked about this because we've done an entire um, video about this, and I think we always kind of talk about at the end who they should have had. But Joseph Vasquez says, Original San Francisco Toymakers WCW Big Rubber Guys style. Oof. So we uh, we have a full history of this um, on our well, YouTube. Oh, right off the bat, we have to acknowledge Renegade and the Shark that we uncovered ourselves as yep. news a couple of years ago that were meant to be made because we found them in a catalog. Look that up in our history. Um, I've always said... Boy, howdy, did I ever get snubbed in this that's line. The, that's the double that's A big, for sure. Got biggest snubbed. one is Arn freaking Anderson. Yep. Always. For years I've thought that. It gets a little complicated at the end because like, they make like the wolf pack stings, but those, I don't uh, think nah, skip eras. Series three, it dies to me. It's not. That stuff doesn't count. What the f- Every time I say series. Could we have got <laughs> Guys, like, every time I say series, my Siri goes on on my phone <laughs> it's happened twice this episode it's never happened in the history of this show huh. um, yeah let's not do like who they missed because like i could say like the booty man like you know like was, but was he snubbed no right. no you know i think arn anderson snubbed Sn- yes. you know who's my favorite at this in 1995 wcw and that's what i think of American males, American I was about to males. Say, a, a I would have lost my Alexander Bagwell. Friggin' mind, and that would be the only uh, Scotty Riggs figure ever. So, man, that's they are the most over babyface tag team in 1995. Period. I agree there. Man, Hell who drop else? Who else? There's got to be some other snubbed in there, but Ren- I mean, Renegade was getting a monster push. Like he, Renegades. Hey, what about like? Like Hollywood Blondes, maybe? No, they're over. Yeah. They're over? They're over, pal. Okay. I mean, Pillman could have got, like, baby face, long tights before he goes crazy, Pillman. That's kind of a snub. Okay. He re- that's like, to be fair, that's like when he's kind of lost in the shuffle, which makes him concoct the whole, you know, loose cannon scheme anyway. You know what I mean? So he really was So, like, first like- Nitro is what, 95, 96? It's yeah. It's September ninety five. I'll tell you right now here. September. Oh, here on this Luger. Yeah, Nine, September ninety five Luger. So is yeah. that like San Francisco toy maker era, right? Ninety five. Yes, hundred percent. So it's really like, kind of guys who were on that first Nitro. Yeah, it's ninety. F- and uh, it like dies. It dies right there. It's like ninety four to like then. I, I say the Arn for sure on on the mo- on the the history of was that they really did a good job getting everybody that they should have, and Arn was the one that was snubbed the most. 
Yeah, so, I have to say, yeah, I have to say Arn. I think it. I think it. This line did really good, and then really only snubbed Arn. And the Luger is really weird because he comes like later in like the KB set, which is so bizarre. Which means like, I think there were maybe there. When in my opinion, there was plans for series four, and then they pivoted to the vibrators for whatever reason. Right. Who knows? Well, and everyone who got a vibrator, oh no, there's no Benoit. Yeah. Right. Well, Hall and Nash too, like Hall and Nash, yeah, damn, yeah, because yeah, that's too far down the line. It's over by then, yeah. Okay. What about yeah? Listen, there's guys they miss, but snubbed arms. I'm saying like it's close to say like Benoit or Eddie or Malenko, but I don't think snubbed at all. You can even say like yeah. Conan, like <laughs> before he's mm. K Duff. Arn snubbed. Arn yeah. snubbed. American males would have been cool because they were over as fuck for a, a little bit. Yes. But Arn snubbed. All right. All right. And up next is the Q&A brought to you by Blue Chew. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Guys, if you're feeling your age more than you used to, especially in the bedroom, it's time to snap out of it. Blue Chew is what you need to perform where it's most important and perform in a major way. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of ED. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription. Don't like swallowing pills? No problems here. Blue Chew's Sildenafil and Tadalafil tablets are chewable. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and they prepare and ship direct, so it's cheaper than the pharmacy. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we've got a special deal for our major marks. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code MAJOR at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code MAJOR, to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. All right, guys, it is Blue Chew, and I told you last week at Disneyland I was going to pop a Blue Chew, and I did, and it was unbelievable. The bed, you press a button, there is music playing, it lights up. Oh, it was a magical night, thanks to Blue Chew. That is something else. My question is from Johnny Espinoza, hashtag ask, major pot. Everybody always wants to say, make this guy, make that guy. What are the biggest misconceptions and hoops you have to jump through when looking into signing people for a wrestling figure line? Well, I think people don't realize how much it costs to make a figure. You know what I'm saying? And I know now we do the pre-order is the order thing, but there's still like a minimum. So God forbid, and I'm not going to say who, but some people haven't sold the minimum is we just had to like order them anyway, <laughs> you know, and, and we're not going to say who, but hope for the best and hope for the best. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of guys in these big rubber guys line. Like, you know, we see some complaints, like how come you're just doing guys they made? How come you're not doing like bad news Brown? Cause like, listen, we want to get bad news Brown and we want to get like Dino Bravo, in, but we're trying to start a new line here. Yes. Every, it's the missing pieces of the big rubber guys and the LJNs, but it, it has to be, you need some star power. You need some top picks. And everybody that we pick to make is an investment. You know what I mean? Right. And there's no guarantee that like it's going to be you know X amount of money return on our money, which is a lot of money that we put up in the first place. So that's that's why it works like that. Um, and, obviously, uh, a, a legends agreement is always our first concern, um, and I think any it should be anybody's that's making uh, wrestling figures in any space. <laughs> should be a, a, a concern of theirs because that's illegal for most cases you know everyone 
has different ones, but the standard Legends deal does not allow, you know, um, similar things in that space. Certain things to consider are, A, is this superstar like alive, right? Because if they're, you know, they're not alive, they can't promote it. They can't be signed. So there's no incentive for like autograph collectors to get it, you know? No, Obviously, they, it's a, it's a macho a man. It's a big, big one now. A macho man, no matter what. It's a real big one, I think. Like, there's ECW ones that I want to do so bad, but the, the guys are deceased, and it's just going to be a. The line needs to grow and get bigger, so it's less of a risk for us. You know, then I can push, you know, for a candido and a balls, you know, ones you can't get signed, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, not so much with the big rubber guys line, but more so with the bendies line. We're like, okay, like, can we make repaints out of this guy or girl? You know, so that's something to consider when we're making the outfit, when we're making the mold. You know, can we get some repaints out of this? Mm-hmm. Like some we know right away, like we're not going to get a repaint out of. And I know with our big rubber guys, we're trying to stay away from the repaints and there are going to be some that have them. But like that flare in the suit, you can't repaint that. You know, it's, it's like a, it's an iconic one-time I mean, thing. Could we get you, similar you could, clothes? You maybe? could, but it would be very carny and not. I think it would devalue the the figure. Right. Same as James James Zambicki is asking about the blonde mail away Marty. Um, and I think the consensus we've come with that is like if somebody did that of us, we'd be very upset. So we can't do that to someone else. Yeah. It'd be fun. It'd be cool, but it's just not the right thing to do. Right. Other companies, if, if, if someone if, else did it, we call them if out. Mitch, if Mitch did that, we would have a whole episode roasting him. So we can't do something like that. That we would it would just be way too hypocritical. Yes, mm, I respect that. Yeah, I respect Great you, question. man. Uh, <clears throat> all right, my question, Chris DG at Chris DG twenty five twenty five. Independent wrestling capitalizes on WrestleMania weekend. So what can independent toy companies do to capitalize on the biggest wrestling weekend of the year? Have, have a giant on. table at WrestleCon selling big rubber guys and bennies and exclusives. We're gonna have, we're planning on having quite an epic display there. And we also found out Zombie Sailor and Heels and Faces is also going to be at WrestleCon. So the word is getting out there. I mean, I tell Power Town all the time. They should be doing similar stuff, you know. You got you to... Gotta, I said it in that last question. We got we're trying to grow all these companies. I, I'm right? blown away that Power Town doesn't have a freaking Comic Con size booth. At we're um, we're wrestling. all in this bubble because we're diehard wrestling figure collectors. Us three and everybody listening to the show. We need to spread the word beyond the bubble to really maximize right. the potential of our products. And now that the was goal. the same question I chose. So guys, please in the chat, somebody asked me one. But to answer the question, like Brian said, we're gonna be there. And we're not just going to be selling stuff. Of course, we're going to have an exclusive figure there for sale. But we're going to—I'm I'm picturing almost like a mini Comic Con or like a WrestleMania ten fan access fan fest, whatever, whatever it's called. We want to show off our product, show people the product. There's so many people who don't know the product, and we have two lines: the Bendies, the Big Rubber guys. So uh, it's a—it's a chance for us to, you know, fans from around the world, and I'd argue the diehard fans. You know, like, I don't know if a casual fan is going to WrestleCon. I'm sure some are. I'm not going to, you know, say yeah, I mean, no casual fan if, of WrestleCon. If you're, uh, I'd say if you're in the Philly area. Yeah, sure. so we're, we're going to, you know, not only show off upcoming figures, we're going to show past figures. Is Just, Mitch going? No. Like, I feel like Mitch should have a booth with Savio in. <laughs> he should, but um, he's not. Mitch I mean, didn't. I mean, you know, who knows? Maybe he Mitch is. didn't set up a Toy Hio 90 minutes from his house. Well, there you go. <laughs> with rest, I don't know why, but that's... That but yeah, I want to go all out with this setup, and I'm sure Zombie will be doing the same thing. And, you know, Epic does it. I think they're going to do it uh, this weekend at the for Love of Wrestling, and they've been doing it for, for years where they show off stuff. It's a, it's a smart thing to do. Yeah, I, I mean, know, ja- I, Jack Slime has been done Squared Circle Expo the past couple of years yep. and shows off, literally um, shows off prototypes and his stuff and create awareness. It's very smart. Yeah, I think it's a perfect time to 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 bring awareness to your line. Um, it's almost like it's like a, a San Diego Comic Con, but a much smaller scale. But like, this is our chance to get new eyes on the product. So we're gonna, you know, go above and beyond, and we have a whole table 
just dedicated to these big rubber guys in Major Ben. He's a whole setup. So hopefully we can uh, attract some new eyes, some new eyeballs. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to take a question from the chat since Mark uh, asked the same question. Does anyone have Oh, any that questions? was your question? Oh. I asked the same question. I got the same oh. question. Anybody um, have any question in the chat? Hit me back, just to chat. This is your biggest Tim fan. Tim Merritt. This is Stan. All right, I'll take Tim Merritt. Tim Merritt, will there ever be a woman in the big rubber guy line? Why not? Absolutely. There already, I mean, there already is a Miss Elizabeth LJN, so that uh, answers I that question. I would have loved, if Chelsea Green didn't sign back to WWE, I would have loved for her to be in it because I think she would have fit the the era. Uh, but now we're not doing like current people. So like, you know, do it as DL. Well, we're not. You know, we're not doing current people. Like she has a Legends agreement, but if Sensational Sherry – was ever available boom you know what i mean yes. there's definitely uh m- sapphire. Big, would you call it big rubber gals <laughs> i think maybe like on the box like x out or something like yeah <laughs> we could be cute about something it something cute yeah um see see sapphire even i even, would totally uh, do wendy richter but we literally just you know currently a legends contract you know something like that would be sick mike mcgurk or is she more 90s Mm, she's right there, I think. She's right there, man. Like, could a could a Missy Hyatt go in for because we're doing like NWA style? Honestly, yeah, yeah. She definitely fits it. Is there anybody like that? I think like Liz, of course. Sherry. Is there Wait, anybody who's t- like who, right did you say there that's girl? like so iconic that we need? Like Precious or uh, was it? What, what See, like, that's like girl. a down the liner for me. You know, yeah, I don't know. Tell me girl's really... name in, in that cage match. Wasn't wasn't he you have the Magnum TA? The pro the, we're back to that other question. The investment in that is like the investment. How many yeah, of those yeah, can true. we sell? True, true, true. After spending thousands and thousands of dollars, you know. Yep. Ten, like Luna, tens of thousands of dollars. Luna doesn't like Luna, Luna if we doesn't get really more into like the me. early nineties, sure. Yeah. I I just don't like you know what would be really good? Like fucking would be perfect. Um, what's her? Th- she was in WrestleMania one. What's her name? Fabulous Moolah. When, uh, no, uh, Cindy Lauper. Well, honestly, yeah, Fabulous Moolah would be. Yo, Bro, yeah. imagine if we get Cindy Lauper. That'd be yeah. fucking nuts. Yeah, that'd be cool. Right? That is eighties wrestling. Yeah, she's she is. You know, did a segment with Heath, so that could be our way in. Someone said Bull Meccano doesn't fit no. the era. May Young doesn't fit the era. No. Never say never, guys. Yeah, cool. You know? We definitely will. Hey, is Matilda a home. girl? <laughs> <laughs> I think she is. You're right. Well, hey, we got it. Damn, nice. All right. Great questions, guys. Up next is some good housekeeping. Good Okay, guys, youtube.com slash major pod network at major pod. We got that live 18 behind the scenes. It's wild. It's up there right now. Little Toy Hayo vlog he- coming very, very soon. Toy Hayo, yeah, it's coming very soon for sure. And guys, guys I uh, think. Looking through most of the footage, it's it's a great vlog, guys. Hype. It's, uh, you know, we were supposed to have that Toys R Us vlog, didn't quite work out. But we're working on some vlogs. And guys, I, Mark, Brian, I think we really got to sit down and plan the Zach and Kurt incarnation domination. Sure. I think we should get table. it out this spring. Maybe do the, the Matt and Brian in the fall. Also, we were doing some talking, you know, uh, peeling back the curtain. I, w- I won't say anything totally, but we were doing some talking with like Herman and, and he had a great idea. Not saying that we're going to do that idea, but like we are. Thinking and planning about the how we can do thinking, some more toy thinking, hunts thinking, as a whole group. Thinking. So I think that uh, you know could be coming this year at some time, maybe. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll do a squared circle expo at the mm-hmm. end of the month. Um, but I we'll mean, try to get some more content for you. Yeah, we have squared circle the, expo. Uh, we have WrestleCon coming up. We have our live show. There's a lot of uh, yeah. filming. Opportunities. But I know you guys love those toy hunts. 
I'm going to Windsor for TNA. Maybe I'll attempt the Toys R Us fig hunt. Take Moose to uh, to Toys R Us. <laughs> oh damn, they got figures here. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Shit. All right, prowrestlingtees.com slash major WF pod. I see a lot of major marks getting those live 19 shirts. Yeah, so a lot. many different colors. Yeah. Get them. Prowrestlingtees.com. A lot of cool stuff over there on prowrestlingtees.com. Majorpodmerch.com, your major pod merchandise. But the figures, if you want the figures, you got to go to majorbendies.com. The Chavo Guerrero for sale. The Ponderosa, Deanna Perrazzo for sale. Next week, EC, I'm sorry, Extreme Series 2 for sale. Watch but it. The last week right now to get your hacksaws and your Magnum TA over at majorbendies.com. If you want to advertise your product or service, majorpodcast at gmail.com. What not? Every single Monday, oh, Brian. I got huge news. Okay. I have an account. Mark wow. Sterling ESQ. Follow, follow me right now. on whatnot. For your non-show, I'm going to follow you right now. If you're doing that right now, there is literally no graphics on it, and I think that my picture <laughs> is an M. But uh, it is Mark Sterling ESQ on whatnot. I do not I have. The you have exact, seventy-four followers. I think because I used to go in the major pod chat sometimes or whatever. You don't even have, well, like a photo, nothing, dude. I don't have nothing. Yeah, no. I, gotta, I just did it. I just. Well, you uh, gotta get on that, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course I will. But but the inaugural stream will be, I believe, two weeks from now. I don't have an exact date. I will tell you that next week. Um, two weeks will be the first stream. I have so much stuff. And I'm talking wait done card it. stuff. I'm talking uh, Power Town figures. I'm talking uh, AEW chases. I'm talking a lot of great stuff. Um, a lot of random memorabilia. A lot of major pod stuff that I've been collecting over the last month. So it's going to be a big stream. I'm looking forward to it. I'm also going to have epic giveaways. Figures valued at like four hundred dollars. We're going to do. It's going to be wow. a huge wow. ass stream. So Mark Sterling ESQ on whatnot. Thanks, you guys, guys. Next Monday on my whatnot. It pains me to do this, but it's it's not wearable anymore. I'm gonna sell my Shane Douglas franchise inspired major bendy merch stand exclusive. You wrestling sell gear. figure gear? I thought you didn't do that. No, nah, I've yeah. done it. I've done it plenty of times. Wow. Pains me, but it's got it's not wearable anymore. There's rips in it. I, I told Rick I'm very upset with him, but. It's it's time to go, but that'll that'll be a big ticket item on my whatnot this Monday. Nice. My Monday whatnot will be I don't know if I'll be able to do all of them, but the masters of the WWE universe. So I was like, didn't you do this? Oh, whoa, Mark, shit, Mark, Mark did real? that. But Mark, Mark did, I did that. that. I You're did doing that. the Lucy's or the men on card? I only have them Lucy, but I'm cutting them all. I think I'm going to keep the Cena. Other than that, I'm going to cut them all. Wow, it's the only one I kept so, too. I kept seeing that. And I have the rings and show. stuff like that. So I'll, I don't know if I'll get through all of them next Monday. But because uh, I still, I've cut all my ultimates and I have the last batch of the ultimates. And then, um, hey, did you see I'll those turtle, the, the turtle ones? I know that you would yeah, not get cool. those, but they're pretty cool. cool. I think I might get the four turtles or, or just Donatello, actually. Probably put it in the um, shelf, but. Also, guys, major rewind every two weeks. Get the history lesson of the major pod brought to you by Jay George. Um, really fun stuff. And speaking of Jay George, I want to plug Jay George. We filmed a little documentary of my match with Nick Nemeth at GCW earlier this month. And, uh, we're putting the finishing touches up and that will be on my YouTube channel. Probably this week, uh, Jay George productions. Um, really, really fun stuff. So check that out. Plugs this week. I got GCW in St. Louis on Friday and then Saturday going to Lariato pro. <laughs> I'll be there, I'm, pal. I'm a little <clears throat> feelings a little hurt that I'm not on this Lariato Super Show. I saw the poster and I'm a little. little Macklin's little on it. Yeah, I'm a little hurt, Drew. I know Macklin asked me. I know you're a diehard major. Drive home with him. I said and, you didn't get a flight, pal. <laughs> I know you're a diehard major pod listener, Luke Gallows. So when you hear this, I'm very upset, and that uh, he didn't invite me to that booking. But that's okay. I'm off. I'm off all weekend, and I'm actually going to Shane Gillis live at Radio City Music Hall with my That's buddies. cool. Yeah. That's cool. Sweet. Well, hey, AW uh, Revolution this week in Charlotte. It's going to be a great show. 
believe I bel- uh, I can't say that actually. Is it <laughs> but we got some fun matches. Man, Mark is just loosey goosey this whole uh, show. Giving out surprise match, huh? What's that? Sting's, Sting's last, last match. match? Yeah, is it not? It's not. It, may, it might not be in Charlotte. Uh, Greensboro. That's I Greensboro, I believe, Greensboro. right? Greensboro. Sunday night. Yeah. You and, All right, you guys. And, you it. and Steve, one last time in catering. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm involved in the match. Yeah, exactly. One last go. <laughs> Steve, me and Beef over here. Hey, where? You remember Beefcake? <laughs> All right. Man. We're out of time. See ya. Join the community at MajorMarks.com and get access to exclusive content, behind-the-scenes footage, and become a member of the Major family. You get bonus episodes on our careers, wrestling figure history, and exclusive interviews with our friends and legends in the business each month. You also get early access to YouTube videos and, of course, the weekly podcast ad-free and breaking news updates. Brand new shows featuring... <laughs> oh, baby. And you... Each month, you can interview someone in the wrestling business with a captain's log. Also, buy, sell, and trade in our exclusive Facebook community where people have become friends in real life. Certain memberships include merch like monthly trading cards and quarterly mystery gifts. Become a Major Mark and join MajorMarks.com today.